<laughs> Rolling. I wish Cotton was a monkey. Then <laughs> 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 yeah, a monkey comes on the screen. Rolling. Rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. You ever seen that you ever seen that video of where um That's the title of this episode, Rolling Rolling Rolling. rolling. <laughs> you ever seen a video when um I turn and Tina Turner, I think they're about to perform Rolling on the River. Oh, right, well, well, yeah. so, and he's just like she's like, Oh well, actually no, Tina Turner was like, you know, um, if I ever sing out of key, what would you do if I ever sing out of key? And this motherfucker goes, Give you a black eye. <laughs> But it's, if you watch it, it's such in tune. It's almost innocuous as fuck. Because it's like, she's like, what will you do if I sing out of tune? And you hear him say, I saw that. Give me a black eye. He didn't really even sing it, though. He was no, like, it's like, do you saw like, give you a black eye? But you know what's messed up? It's like, it's sad that he was like, I turned him as a fucking monster to this woman, right? But he only became kind of comical in a way, is because of Lawrence Fishburne when he was in Lo- What Love's Got to Do With It. His character, even though he was trying to play it serious, it, it came off kind of comedic. Oh, yeah. And I think that's where, in the zeitgeist, that has took in form of what Ike Turner really was versus, like, the actual person. <clears throat> like, I don't think the motherfucker was that comedic. But it came off... It was just natural. Yeah, you know, like, if you watch... It was just him. Yeah. You just found it funny. But when you watch <laughs> Lauren Fishburne, his portrayal of Ike Turner, it is very funny. Really? Can you do a favorite? Can it's a sad movie. my frame on there? Like... Oh, yeah, you're good. It's good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it could be a little, like... Here, look at your frame, and then look at my frame. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, cool. I mean, you ain't gonna look at nothing, though, but... Oh, I look good over there. Yeah. And I look good. <laughs> and I'm square in that one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Beaut. Uh, Beaut. What was John Lennon's uh, wife's name? Yoko, Yoko Ono. With Chuck Berry? That's oh, name. my yeah. God. <laughs> yes. You, he, I've never... I Because I, everyone is thinking it except for John Lennon. Like, mm-hmm. they, get this bitch off the goddamn stage. Yes. Like, she is a complete waste of space. She is so useless. Mm-hmm. Talentless fucking bitch. Yes. Get her off the stage. You know what's fucking wild? It's like, I think it's the same thing with any art you do or anything you do in life. Like, if you have to work as a team, right? Mm -hmm. And you know musicians, especially, everything has to be in key. Everyone Mm -hmm. works on the same metronome. Everyone has to be on the right timing. Everyone has to be in pocket. And she's over there. Yeah. And these guys are, I don't, they all, I don't know if they all were classically trained, but definitely if they've been playing the music long enough, we well, might as well just be classically fucking trained. Right. And they're like, someone get this bitch out of here. No, but it's funny because Chuck Berry's the only one who, like, yeah. his expression is like. You could see his yeah. like, He's like, what the? And, and like, Paul, Ringo, uh, uh, George Harrison are just like, we're used to this. This is life now, I guess. <laughs> but God, Jesus Christ! But, I mean, not seeing the not seeing the rest of those guys. The Beatles obviously has sold. All those guys in that group has sold. But Chuck Berry worked on soul, dude. Yeah, and rhythm. Look at his foot. Look how he's tapping that left foot. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Calvin, talent. You do me a favor, rewind it a little bit. I don't know if, I don't know if you guys ever noticed this. So the cut, cut, right? Oh no, just rewind it. Just rewind it. Now, aside from looking at Yoko Ono, right? Yeah. Look at all these musicians, what they're doing. Pay attention to their movements. They're going with the beat. Exactly. He has his foot, they're doing the side, like really, you know, doing a little head bang. The bass is just bouncing the back. Everyone is doing something. Every time you learn how to play an instrument, if you don't have a band, you're and twerking. she's just there. Yeah, there, like, but there's no rhythm. Look at it. She right. has, there's nothing happening. Because when you're twerking how to play any instrument, when I was learning guitar, what I learned was they saying, if you're not bobbing your head, or just tap your foot, that would be your metronome as you're playing. Right. Yeah. All those guys knew the fundamentals huh. of that. She didn't do that shit. Yeah, dude, it's she didn't do that shit. Motionless. She's sitting there. A little creep that she is. <laughs> They're supposed to be jamming out, and she mm-hmm. just took this as her time to show off what she thinks is a vocal. Cause she, cause she has a vagina, and I think that's what all that matters. He's like, she gave me lay, fellas. You got. <laughs> yeah, look, look, look. That's even kind of rhythmless too, right there. <clears throat> she's following the snare on that one. That's like the po- the most rhythm she's been in. Right. 
Because Chuck doesn't look, he's miserable right now. He doesn't look miserable. He's like, get this crazy bitch. Oh, he wants to hit her. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, you can God. see his eyes, his eyes. It's like, it's like, what was that? It's like, uh, twitching? <laughs> it's like, it's just... He's in pain. <laughs> Like, they, they, someone did something. Someone edited it. The edit yeah. is weird in this. But it still exemplifies the point that this lady <laughs> had no talent. Have you seen um, Get Back? Get the back. documentary about the Beatles making their last album. Mm -mm. So Yoko's in this. Like you can say like, Paul McCartney is just like just completely ignores her. Like whenever she's in, in the rehearsal studio, mm -hmm. he just completely like everyone just shuns her, and wow. she'll say something and be like. Anyway, like, <laughs> yeah, it's back good. to the actual music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good, dude. Sure. Jesus, weird. She's still alive, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they say the talented die young. The talented die young. Yep. Is she still Upper West Side in that in the Dakota? Who cares? <laughs> that's where he. That's where they, they lived. Where he died and uh, got shot at Central Park. Mm -hmm. And then that crazy guy goes, I just shot John Lennon. But you know what you know was wild about him? His situation was, I remember when Dimebag Darrow died. Dimebag died on December 10th. Lennon died on, Dece on December 8th. And both guys were shot by their, by this, by the insane, got some insane guy. Which is crazy is that both these guys who shot him claimed to have been fans. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wild? Like, you claim to be a fan and you destroy the one thing that should have been... Well, they're mentally unstable. Yeah. And I, I, but why? Why, why would well, you Well, with Dimebag, to... they bl the guy blamed Dimebag Daryl for breaking up Pantera. Now, with the other guy, I forget his name. I forget, Capote, too. Capote, whatever his fucking name He was, was obsessed yeah. with Catcher in the Rye. Yes. And yes. he, yeah. like, for him, is, like, uh, kind of like a sense of ownership over mm -hmm. John Lennon. He was such a big fan. He was just like, I hate... The only way I can own him is by killing him. Man, it's just like, yeah. that's it's insane, and that's the same thing with the guy who shot Dying right there. He felt like he was that the, his, like his world crumbled when the band broke up, and it wasn't Dimebag's fault. It was more if anybody he was going to shoot, I would, don't shoot anybody. But it would have been Phil, the lead singer. He was the reason why the band really broke up. Oh, really? It wasn't Dimebag there. Dimebag because when they broke up, Dimebag immediately went on to do other different music because he wanted to play music. That was his thing. He went mm -hmm. on to do Damage Plant, and that's when he got killed. It was, uh, he was performing on, yeah, he was performing on the stage with this band Damage Plan, they shot him. So it was like, these guys who do this fucking thing, they just have this warped sense of like, mm. what fandom is. That's insane. Man. Yeah. You're not a fan, you're a psychopath. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, uh, that, I, I walked by, uh, unknowingly, it was so random, unknowingly, I was walking my sister in Central Park, mm -hmm. and we went to, we were like, just had to call Cut through uh, Strawberry Fields where the where he got was shot. John Lennon was shot, mm -hmm. and it was like the anniversary of when he was wow. killed. Oh, like, really? so we're like, oh <clears> fuck! Like, what were they doing? Like a uh... the whole, yeah, it was like a live show. It was cool. Ooh, like yeah. a bunch of people playing. Like, well, they come, they, like, they, they did though. They they because he got cremated. They put his ashes. They they threw his ashes in Central Park. Mm -hmm. so. so did you hear the whole Central Park thing that's going on right now? Mm -hmm. You can't go in there at a certain time. Oh, oh yeah, really? the, the, yeah, all the, the people migrants, getting robbed. The yeah. migrants are like in like, oh, little right. armies, but it's not like regular. Mig it's like teenagers mm -hmm. going in there at nighttime and just going wild, robbing people. The migrants as soon as it gets mm -hmm. dark. Yeah, Jesus, <clears throat> like it's insane. That's annoying. Like you can't even go to Central Park now and walk. So, so, what are the police doing anything? Yeah, they, they, no, they, now they, they brought they the police in. Yeah. But you know they bring their command vehicle, they park it in a corner, and then yeah. that's it. Yeah, and then it's like. And then when the crime goes down, the command vehicle leaves, and the crime goes back up, yeah. it's just a vicious circle. Yeah, but that's because cops are there for cleanup, bro. Yeah. And you know I always think about, like, you've seen Spider-Man, the, the cartoons, the movies, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when Spider-Man, let's take Spider-Man 2, one of my favorites. When Spider-Man's fighting Dr. Oct, and he's fighting him on top of the train station. The yeah. Train. Mm -hmm. And then he do the whole Jesus pose. That yeah, one yeah, 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 yeah. That's one of my favorite scenes of that. Because he saves so many people's lives on the train. While someone was getting butt raped in the alley, while a bank was getting robbed, <laughs> he's not gonna be everywhere. <laughs> so these fucking cops, they just did for cleanup duty, bro. They're not gonna deter you. Someone's getting raped. <laughs> You're like Spider Man, Spider Man, no, no. And he's no. Getting carried on a train. <laughs> 
Like, but it's true. <laughs> and that's why I'm like, with these little micro situations with these cops, it doesn't matter. They could, like he said, they go to the command center up there. They're still going to go find a way. It's something that's going to happen. Yeah. That's just the way it is. And now, if, you know, if, now, if we were armed, they wouldn't be robbing us. No. Like, you've not seen this shit happen in Texas. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. No. You get shot in the face. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you know, we're all here. We live in New York. I was yeah. from Pennsylvania. And then Pennsylvania, <clears throat> we're at this tire shop. And the guy that works at the tire shop has a gun in his the back of his pants in the holster. Wow. But, like, the holster doesn't have a strap or anything. It's just in a holster mm -hmm. tucked behind his pants. And he bends down, and his shirt raises up, and you see the Glock right Jesus. there. Wow. And I'm here. I go to one of the guys. I was like, hey, he got a gun. And this guy looks at me. He's like, and? and? <laughs> 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 That's normal over here. I was like, okay. <clears throat> It's like, so, cool. Do you know where you're at? <laughs> so? I say New York. You don't have one? He's like, and I got a dick, so what? What are you fucking yeah. talking about? I'm surprised he has it there, because someone could easily just come from the behind. And... I'm surprised. Like, he went and sat in a car. That, wow, mm -hmm. yeah. Really? Like, comfortable, like, jumped in the car, <laughs> sat down, and it's like, dude, you got a, a gun in its holster. Right. In your, like it has to be like this thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and he's just cozily sitting there. He's probably just used to it. He's like, probably been doing it for a while. He probably got mm -hmm. a fucking indent in his tailbone. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like just I mean, comfortably sits in there. <laughs> it's like, like a puzzle piece. It's yeah. weird. It's, it's uncomfortable if it's not jammed. That's in there. like a football player's head. You ever seen a football player's head? It's like a caveman. It's indented. Yeah, it's all that it's <laughs> all that padding that sits there all the Which time. Which is absolutely <clears throat> useless, bro. It's useless. Oh, yeah, because it holds your head. Mm -hmm. So it does, it's not stopping your brain. Meanwhile, your brain is still so, scrambled. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so it's Tua. Poor Tua. Dude. That's right. It's up to him at this point. Yeah. From this point on, it's his choice. Well, I, It's yeah, your it, choice if you want to continue playing football. Bro. Yes, it's his choice. But you Okay, so there's different ways you could look at it. The money aspect of this, there's $124 million on the line. Mm-hmm. If Tua chooses to retire, he loses the money. If the doctors do not clear Tua to play and say he has to retire, then Tua keeps the money. Wow. The other thing is, you got to think about most football players. When they play this game, most of them, 90% of them, played from the peewee level to high school to college. So this is all they know. Mm -hmm. So to them, it's a do or die situation where it's mm -hmm. like, this is all I know. I live for this game. I'm not going to get a stupid concussion. I'm not going to let a stupid concussion take me yeah. out what I take love. Take my career away, yeah. But here's my thing, though. Because, like, football makes his bones always on quarterbacks and wide receivers. Those are the two main guys. But if you had to choose who you're going to let go due to concussions or any injury, they don't care when a wide receiver leaves. There's always a quarterback. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That's a huge market hit for Miami. This is the guy that reads the plays, have to memorize mm -hmm. the play, have to know everything. But especially when you're good, when you're exciting, when people can watch you, like, oh, this guy's competent. Like, when Patty Mahomes would kill the league if he got injured, he leaves. Imagine if they lose Patty Mahomes, fucking um, Joe Burrow, um, Josh Allen, any of these top flight quarterbacks. It's over for the NFL. That's what you're really watching for. You're right. watching for this. We love it. We love the deep ball passes, like you know, it's the pure athletics. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah look, look at this new wave of quarterbacks. Like yeah, they, they wait, but they're not standing in the pocket. These no. guys are running. Yeah. Yeah. They're running, but then they're not up to par. Mm -hmm. Bryce too. Young, yeah. Caleb oh Hunter, my gosh, like, what a waste these of money. guys are like coming in, and it's like, whoa, wow, they're gonna be great. Right. They're gonna be amazing, mm -hmm. and then it's like, wait, you mean to tell me we just benched uh, Bryce Young now? Mm -hmm. And we're giving uh, what's what's the quarterback now? Uh, um, who is it? Um, Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton, the Red Baron's coming back <laughs> to to play. Mm -hmm. well, Rock. But I mean, there, there's I mean, Tom Brady was doing an interview, and I hate like quoting Tom Brady, but he was just like saying like these bringing in these like all star rookies from college and then immediately starting them screwing is them screwing up the whole NFL like like even though I was a starter in Michigan my by my senior year when I got when I played for the Patriots I still had a start all over again mm -hmm. and that's where you learn the most and you look, can really look at Jordan Love yeah. look yeah. at Jalen Hurts yeah. Like, yeah. Rogers. Josh Allen Aaron Rodgers they sat at least a season 
learned underneath the veteran and studied that playbook an extra yeah. year yeah. to then the next year they excelled. Sure. Right. You know? yeah. But it's and, like you know what's also wild is that they, we got I mean you can look at the numbers, I forgot it. I, I looked it up a while ago about the the percentage like of like for a what do you call this stupid thing um like actually a quarterback who's drafted first round to see if he actually becomes a superstar later in his career, the hit ratio is so low. Mm-hmm. Like, Pat, like for example, Peyton Manning was not drafted number one. That was Ryan Leaf. Mm-hmm. Ryan Leaf has no career. Peyton Manning does. Right, right. Aaron Rodgers was not number one. That was Alex Smith. Alex Smith is sitting his ass out. Aaron and he Rodgers. went to Kansas City. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Aaron, Alex Smith. Yeah. And then, no, Alex Smith then went to 49ers. Oh, 49ers. He went, he went everywhere. And then he played for the Redskins. Mm-hmm. And he's hurt. He, he, he was all done. over the place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But where Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers only had two teams. Yeah. And Aaron Rodgers is probably one of the greatest quarterbacks ever to play. Yeah. Tom Brady wasn't a starter. Yeah. Drew Brees wasn't a starter. Patrick Mahomes was not a starter. Uh-huh. A lot of these guys who were like these first round draft picks are done. Yeah. But the dudes who came up behind them because they had to sit a year out. And what's even crazy is like when we, <clears throat> you look at like the way they talk about children's adolescence, like boys, <clears throat> we learn a lot more from doing things. Mm-hmm. But it's also we learn very quickly when we watch Life like things. someone do something and then we just recreate that, you know, we imitate what we see. Right. Why do we stop doing that with the NFL? Mm-hmm. Do the same uh, fucking I mean, thing. The only person that was drafted. <clears throat> First round, first pick, and then did amazing, Joe Burrow. Yeah. Oh, true. Yeah. And yeah. then he got one injury, and then one he injury. just tanked. But that, yeah. but that's also the, that's that hit ratio I'm talking about. It's a very low number. Like Bryce Young went before um, on CJ Shroud. Shroud yeah. is doing way better than fucking yeah. Bryce Young. Yeah. Dude, I I also love how. The, the expectation that these rookies are going to just kill, like, save, oh uh, save the team. And it's like, that's oh. not I think how it the works. The only expectation of any position of a rookie that you can depend on that may just do great is a wide receiver and a running back. Right. Yes. Because yes. it's yes. just Saquon Barkley, athleticism right. from it's there. all it is. It's them with Price the Hall. youth, Price Hall. the strength, the speed. Mm-hmm. They have it. They come they're up the gate. They're yet. ready to go. Yeah, exactly. They're yeah. ready to go. Yeah. Until, uh, uh, you know, a that veteran injury. DB mm-hmm. just knocks <laughs> them out. And then they're like, oh, oh the, shit, this is NFL. feel different. <laughs> oh, dude, <it's> all, bitch. <laughs> and that's true. Whoa. That's facts. Yeah. yeah, but that's where my money. That's where my money will mostly go. It's to those guys. I, I know if I get a nice six nine fucking tight end of a six five yeah. Yeah. freaking wide receiver. Yeah, I got my money. Yeah, <laughs> my yeah, money's yeah, safe. Yeah, exactly. I'm good money. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it, it's 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 difficult. I mean, but look at Devontae Smith. I feel bad for him, but he is so good. He's Devontae so, is so he's a Heisman good. Heisman Trophy winner, but the guy weighs. Like, I, I don't. I'm not looking at stats. I'm not mm. looking at his weight right now. But it's like, if, it's like if he's wet, <laughs> if he's wet, he's probably 150 pounds right, right. with wet, mm. wet clothes on. But this kid can <sighs> take a hit. Yeah, he can yeah. take a hit he, and yo. get up like nothing. Like, like he is the Iron Man. He is mm. the Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's yeah. animantium running right, through his right. body because Devontae he Smith takes hits he's and he just board. gets up and go. He's a champ. And he he's like, like, and guys would disrespect him. He'll get up and he'll laugh and smile no, and good. go back and do the same thing to you. Yeah. I'm not saying that because I'm an Eagles fan. If no. he was on any no, other yeah, team, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's, he's so a good. workhorse. He's, That's he's, why I draft yeah. him all the time. Like I gotta like, get Devontae Smith. That's like he reminds me of a much more durable Deshaun on Jackson. <clears throat> Deshaun Jackson was very fucking good. Yeah. But when he, I mean, same kind of build, but Devontae Smith could take hits, bro. Like, I think Darren Sproles. <clears throat> yeah, Darren Sproles was nasty. He was like. At least oh, what five seven? I mean, yeah. he, like, yeah. when he was on, I think he went to the he went to the Saints, killed it on the Saints. Yeah, he, then he goes over to fucking uh, to the Eagles, kills it on the Eagles. Yeah, like he was. Good. You can count on him for pump. But they returns. destroyed his body. Kick yeah. returns. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Darren Sproles Darren like Sproles. at least once a year has to take it to <laughs> the end zone. Devin Hester. How was all? Told us Devin Hester. Monty Adams is good too. Yeah. Adams. Oh yeah. They try. I think they're trying to do a trade with him, trying to get him to, to go the to Detroit. Detroit. Oh. So you get, no, but he yeah, should go to the Rogers Jets. really want him so he, That was yeah, his buddy, his but buddy. Yeah. his Alan major Lazar. buddy was... I heard you know, Alan Lazar is his best friend. Well, they're good. That's why I picked up Alan Lazar. Lazar I heard good. they're best friends, and I picked up yeah. Alan Lazar, he scored a touchdown. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh. In my other league, I traded Aaron for him. Aaron. Like, oh. oh, you traded yeah, for him? Yeah, because he had told me that yeah. he was... Uh, and then he scored a touchdown, right? Yeah. 
But, but Adams, they screwed over with the whole Derek Carr trade. They fucked him over. I yeah, they did. They they definitely. He only did. left to go play with his <clears> best <throat> friend from college, and then you trade his best friend to New England. I mean, to New Orleans. Yeah. So Baker, Baker Mayfield. Mayfield. Baker's good. Baker's good. He is. He's a baller. Fucking going off in Tampa mm-hmm. Bay. Yeah, he looks really good. But I'm sorry, I was thinking of uh, Minshew. <coughs> Gardner, Gardner, Gardner Minshew. Minshew. The Raiders. The mustard stang. The, the stang, the mullet. I mean, that guy just, he's like, he's like, a, he's like a cockroach. He just he won't go away. Like, he's not like, going like away. Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick was that way. I was not going away. <laughs> Fitzpatrick was everywhere. Those guys you bring in, mm-hmm. you, you're down, you bring them in. For one season, yeah. Then, yeah, all right, we're going to tank the season. We'll win a couple of games. We'll tank. We'll get another yeah. person. Yeah, he was on Arizona. He yeah. went to the Jets. He went, uh, where else? Philly, Philly Buffalo. Uh, Buffalo. Buffalo, yeah, he was everywhere. Was he in Philly? Miami. Yes, he was in Miami. He was in Miami. That's like 14. That's when in Miami he had the, uh, oh, no, was it Tampa? No, it was up in Miami. I think you were right. I think it was Miami. Oh, we're talking about Fitzpatrick? Fitzpatrick. Oh, sorry, I was talking about Michigan. He, he was like in Jag, he was with the Jaguars. Yeah. He went to the Colts. Yes, the no, cold, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, <clears throat> but it was also, but to go back to Baker Mayfield, though, uh, was it him two years, two go seasons ahead. ago, where he was just traded to the, uh, he was just traded to a different team that night before, uh, the night before, mm-hmm. and then, like, in two days, he's on a flight, learns the entire playbook, and yeah. wins. Was that for the Saints? That wasn't for the... Was that Tampa Bay? It might have been Tampa Bay. Yes, he was in Cleveland for yeah. a little, for yeah. longest. Yeah. That was his longest tenure. Oh, what happened to Johnny Manziel? Johnny Football. It was an alcoholic, that kid bro. threw it away. Uh, dude, okay. Yeah, that story's sad. So mm-hmm. let's go back to Fitzpatrick. <laughs> you want to know his career history in the NFL? You know what the first team he was I on? Just, I know he went to Harvard. <clears throat> <laughs> Harvard, yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. Okay, so first team. The Rams, the St. Louis Rams, Ooh. 05 to 06. Then he went to the Bengals. That's right, he did. Be the 07 Bengals. to 08. Then he went to the Bills. Yeah, I remember that. The Bills, 09 to 12. Then he went to the Titans for 13. Then he went to the Texans, 14. Then he went to the Jets, 15 <laughs> to 16. Then he went to the Bucks. 17 to 18, and then he went down 95 to Miami, Miami. Dolphins, to 19 to down 20, 95. and then he went right back up north 95 to the Commanders for 21. You half the league. Is it how many teams is that? That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine teams. Jesus, Jesus. <clears throat> is that the record? Nine teams. What is the record? Oh wait, what's this? Uh, what's this thing? Um, two hundred and twenty-three touchdowns to one hundred and sixty-nine intos. How many passing yards? Uh, passing yards thirty-four thousand nine hundred forty. Oh. Passing rating. I mean, it's 82. good for a nine-year nine-year career. That's not yeah, bad. Yeah. But then when it's been considered <clears throat> the fact you've been bouncing around, it sucks. Right. That's not a good look. No. Yeah. Listen, he was making money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was making money though. Six two, two hundred twenty-eight pounds. That's He's a big, big boy, big dude. Yeah. Yo. Did you guys? I one no one no one no one ever talks about him. But Matt Ryan, you look at his stats, Matt Ryan. Not really. Look at no. Matt Ryan. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. That guy's a Hall of Famer. Really? Hundred percent. He's commentary <clears throat> now. Is that right? Yeah, he's doing commentary. Yeah. He showed up last Monday with the uh, the Mannings. Oh, did he really? Yeah, he was on the Manning on um, the Monday night. Manning. You just look at him where he's on the all time quarterbacks in wow. terms of, like their numbers. It's wow. impressive. You would never think Matt Ryan wow. has these numbers. Tell him, Calvin. Here we go. His passing attempts, 8,464. Passing completions, 5,551. Oh, His shit. completion percentage, 65.6%. <clears throat> touchdown into, 381 touchdowns, 183 intos. Passing yard, 62,792. His passer rating was 93.6. That's Hall of Whoa, Famer. 92? There is his career highlights. NFL MVP 2016. <clears throat> NFL Offensive Player of the Year. Offensive Rookie of the Year. First Team All-Pro. Four times four Pro, uh, Pro Bowl. NFL Passer Rating Leader. NFL Completion Percentage Leader. PFWA All Rookie Team, Burt Bell Award, Manning Award, Johnny United's Golden Arm Award, ACC Player of the Year, ACC Offensive Player of the Year, 
first team All American, two time first team All ACC, and they retired his jersey at Boston College. The dude is a Hall of Famer. Maddie wow. Ice. But you never you talk know about how him. You got that name. Matty Ice. That's from those fucking numbers right there. That, that was from high school. Matty Ice. That's crazy. <laughs> it was a nickname, <clears throat> not See? because of football. <laughs> it just stuck, stuck with him. Excuse like, me. Matty Ice. Ice. <laughs> but the guy is nasty. No, Eli Manning was like, did they call you Matty Ice because you like to crush a lot of Matty Ice? And he was like, no. <laughs> he was like, oh, you, were, you weren't drinking beer in high school? He was like, no. <laughs> I wasn't cool. <laughs> No, that's, and that's why I'm like, he's, no one talks about him. None. No. He's, he's on the top 10 passing yards as a quarterback. That's impressive stats right there for kind of someone who's ever he looked. He just flew right. under the radar the entire yeah. time. If he would have won that year against the Patriots <clears> in <throat> Super Bowl, you obviously mm-hmm. they'll want to talk about him. But he's right. going to the Hall of Fame as soon as they put those numbers up. As soon as they go, okay, he's, you know. Yes. So he, I don't know if he's retired technically. But if he's Too retired... Bold. Oh, man. Man. Yeah, I think he's I, just a I free agent. Is, I'm not yeah. too sure. But if he is retired, he's going to get in. Yeah. You can't not deny him. Yeah, those, <clears throat> those are Hall of You're right. Those are Hall of Fame numbers. Yes. That is obvious. How, how, how did that fly under the radar for so I, long? And that's why I'm like, how? And I remember yeah. I discovered this like two years, three years ago. I'm like, man, I, really? <laughs> how? <laughs> Isn't that right? I thought he was like maybe 40,000, 60? Well, here, when you, when you look at it, the NFL... <laughs> The leaders for all time yardage mm-hmm. for QBs number one, Tom Tom Brady, 89,214. Drew B. Brees, 80,000. Peyton, 80, 000, Peyton mm-hmm. at 71,940. Brett Favre, okay, 71,838. Big Ben, yeah, Big Ben, 64,000. Philip Rivers, I forgot. Oh fuck! Yeah, he's he's like a Matt Ryan. He's that was a, a great dope. class of QBs. Yes, yeah. yeah. Philip Rivers, Eli the Manning, Manning um, ben, ben Roethlisberger. Yeah, yeah. Like he was. Um, so Philip Rivers, sixty-three thousand. Matt Ryan at seven, sixty-two thousand. Eli, I believe, right? No, Dan no. Marino. Then Eli. Dan, Dan Marino. Marino, you're good. You know <laughs> your, you know your shit. <laughs> Dan Marino at sixty-one. Aaron Rodgers at fifty-nine. Yeah. Oh, that's right. He's he moved up. Yeah. Yep. Eli yeah, at yeah, 57. Yeah. That's your top 10. That's your top 10. That's a, that's a solid group. These mm-hmm. are the top 10 people that played within the last 15 years. Except Dan Marino. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it's insane. Impressive. It is insane. But then when you look at that, then then the rest, I'll just go down the list. I'm not reading off their, their thing. Mm-hmm. 11, Matt Stafford. 12, John Elway. 13, Warren Moon. 14, Fran... Tankerton, mm-hmm. 15, Carson Palmer, 16, oh, Vinny Testaverde, oh, yeah. uh, 17, Drew Bledsoe, 18, nice Joe Flacco, 19, Russell Wilson, and 20, Dan Fout. Dan Fout? Dan Fout. Who did he play with? I think he played with Pat. Dallas. I forgot. But, you know, pay, not pay, man. What's the, um, if Patrick Mahomes says consistent, he's going to be up there. Right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. If he says consistent... Oh. If he stays consistent, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, and then um, <clears throat> I want to see what happened when Andy Reid leaves. Mm. Man, that's if Andy Reid, that's if Andy Reid, because if he wins, he there's a chance he may Andy Reid will yeah. leave when they stop making cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's it. Or cheeseburgers maybe, are healthy though. Or maybe when they no, they are. They, they are. As long as you don't get the fucking fries with them, but you no, know, exactly. Yeah, yeah, people do church. You know, just choose one. Don't yeah. do both. Just, just choose the lean ground beef. Yeah, yes, yes. And and eat a nice bread. You know, I'll pick a good bread. Yeah, and I went fill to, it with all your veggie toppings. Yeah, I was at the meat packing district, and it was you know, you know that food court they have. I can't mm-hmm. remember the burger oh, spot. Oh, it's nice. It's beautiful. Nice. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I love Costly, it. Costly, yeah. but beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they had this burger spot, and according to them. The cows, like, they, of course, they get slaughtered, but they Grass get slaughtered fed. the most humane way, 100% beef, uh-huh. not all the hormones, and <clears> you <throat> can taste the difference when you bite into this fucking shit. Even it looks different, the beef looks different than when you find anywhere because else in this you country. Know, you know what it it's is? It's impressive. Animals mm-hmm. are just like us, mm-hmm. in a way. When, when, you're put, when you're going down a slaughter line, 
you're 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 stressing, you're releasing endorphins yeah. and hormones and adrenaline and everything. Your muscles tensing up. Your your blood vessels are constricted. Like you're like getting into like all these different hormones in your body is pumping through you. So if you're any type of animals and you're in a slaughter line watching yeah. mm. your friend dying, yeah. your family dying, it's like you're like releasing all this stuff. So when you die, it's the meat. Just it's just throughout your body. With all these different. Mm. If you're killed humanely, then you know, maybe they're telling these cows a story and they're asking <laughs> them, "What's your last meal? Feed you your last meal?" And it's like massaging you, giving <laughs> you some beer, and like it just sucks. Me. I mean, I don't ever want to see a cow. Get slaughtered in real life. I think that would make me a vegan. Well, there's, there's that one I've brilliant never, scene yeah. from the Napoleon Dynamite where the like, school kids are coming on the bus and they're all coming in and they wave at the farmer. You know, he doesn't really speak a lick of English. Mm. He yeah, waves yeah, at yeah, them. He so <laughs> <laughs> shoots a cow. Oh, oh God! <laughs> oh, yeah, I was. Uh, there was a video they were showing these um, the pigs, and like they they're brought into this thing where they're like rolled in mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you see the pigs like their feet are dangling uh -huh. mm -hmm. and they, they come in and then they get electrocuted <laughs> and then you see their bodies stiffen up and their eyes close and they drop but then there's a pig right behind that one you that just witnessed, witnessed that <laughs> oh shit <laughs> like ah oh, I'm next <laughs> and, like, and then like Four four pigs down. <laughs> this other one's like this. Wee! Get <laughs> off me! I'm flying. Pigs can fly. <laughs> it's like, oh shit! <laughs> That's horrible. It sounds like the way that they used to fucking kill people back in the day in the medieval times with the guillotine. Right. Like, oh yeah. I used to live boring lives. You know, they just go. You know, they till the land and then they go home and they read a book and they go to bed. Whatever they fucking do. But then you tell, oh, it's going to be execution. You can't get people to show up just for one execution. I can just imagine a husband. You want to see this baby? There's only one guy dying. Yeah, who's it? Steven? Yeah, Steven. Uh, but if you give him a whole row of people. <laughs> yeah, we going. It was a bad lineup. Come this Saturday, watch Barry die. <laughs> and it's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like, you get your head chopped off and someone just take a bucket of water and just throw it on the fucking cream. Cut off. the blood off next. <laughs> that guy was an asshole. And then after the water, after they brought out a bucket, he's just like, fuck it. <laughs> you know, like, it's like they're standing there, but there's like this guy with his kid on the shoulder. <laughs> Watch this! <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait for the main line. <laughs> oh, 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 main event! Yeah, yeah, oh, here yeah. you go! <laughs> the Queen Elizabeth herself! <laughs> Uh, Queen Mary Antoinette, you Mary Antoinette. Her, her last words was she basically apologized to, to the, the his, headsman because she stepped on his foot. Yeah, oh, she she was, I, I didn't Sorry. mean to do that. It's, he was like, yep. <laughs> Imagine. That's I, wow. I went to, uh, it was in Boston, um, the Museum of Torture. Mm -hmm. oh, they, had wow. that. they showed oh, wow. you, yeah, they so showed you, in there. Like, Every like torture device they had. It's crazy when you're sit when you're reading mm -hmm. these torture systems and watching like there's like weird things in there. It's like, weird how this creative these people were back in the day. Yeah, nothing better to do. We, yeah, right. You're just like sitting around looking at a candle. Oh yeah, <laughs> someone's sitting there like, I wonder how I'm gonna kill this. Uh, yeah, what's a torture? Well what what end up being what end up being the torture was first the doctors, <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Like the doctors' uh, equipment. Oh, that's how it was <laughs> like, utilized first. Yeah, I'm like, just yeah. saying, yeah. you know, it could be like, oh, lobotomy, and then it's like, ah, oh, you know what, it doesn't really work. And then, like, boom. This <laughs> is fucking <laughs> creative. I, mean, like, I feel like lobo lobotomy is probably the one that actually would work over, like, electrotherapy. You know? They did it to um, the JK, uh, what's his name? RFK? Oh, JFK. Oh, one of their RFK, oh, the siblings happened. That happened. To oh, them. oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. They died, right? So yeah, they left her alone in a freaking psych ward. Yeah, and they just basically hit her from the cameras in the public. They don't know because she was, a, I guess, she was like a wild child kind of thing, mm -hmm. and they couldn't figure her out. And then they just like lobotomized her, and she sat there in that psych ward by herself while her family is out there being politicians. The Kennedys are a weird family. Yes. Who they're, cursed they're the Kennedys? They're, they're cursed. cursed. They're, they're cursed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> RFK is lucky he ain't dead. Uh, you probably think, like, did probably someone is. sell their soul to the devil and uh, place the curse on the family? For sure. Maybe For an old sure. Irish gypsy cursed them. 
Good old Patrick Mahooligan. That's not what your country can do for you, <laughs> but what you can do for your penis. <laughs> ah! <Good> cheers. <clears throat> you know what I will say is a torture watching fucking Elliot Romulus. That was pretty torturous. Okay. Elliot Romulus. Let's talk about this. Mm. I didn't see it. It really made me mad. <clears throat> it really made me mad. It was one of those movies that just it? makes you mad. Why'd you go see it? I saw that Nighthawk arguing on the Williamsburg seminar. Yeah, yeah. That is, it's pretty, you know. It's a good one. It's a good one because it doesn't get crowded. It's yeah. pretty seating. So yeah. I, I saw why, it in why, midday. Why? Why? What, what made you go see it? Because I saw both aliens. I saw a lot of <clears throat> I like Prometheus. See, I didn't see Prometheus or like Co- Covenant, but I That's saw... That's the only new one that I like. Right. I haven't seen Covenant. All right, so I saw like the first... <laughs> at first, I saw, I saw one, two, three, Resurrection, the Alien versus Predator, Bullshit, and Romulus. Mm-hmm. And here's my problem with Romulus is the fact that it's, it felt like a high-budget fan fiction film. And a lot of the things they were borrowing from, from the original films, whether it be one, two, or the third one, it's like it's missing the context of why it worked in those first two. Right. Because in the third one, it worked <clears> also, but it didn't work in this. Because if you don't see those movies, I mean, put it this way, if you didn't see those movies, you'd be like, oh, this is great, this is awesome, I love it. Mm-hmm. But if you saw those other movies, you're like, what the fuck are they doing? Like... For example, the aliens are able to stab you with the tails. They impel you, they can lift you up, and just basically decapitate you. Why is it that when the main protagonist in this movie is falling through this elevator shaft, the aliens are climbing up, and the alien saves her? Not stab her. Then he just picks up with his tail, and he almost in a way put her back on the, on the ladder herself. And then he does a little side thing they did with, you no, know, but he's like up close to her. I'm going to kill you. Right. It's like they just stood around. They didn't do what they usually do. So the threat was non void. There's no threat. Yeah, no, no, um, scary. I'm on IMDb and mm-hmm. I'm looking at the reviews. It has a... Um, right now for his reviews, it has a... It's like a solid seven something. That's all right. Seven? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. well, it appeals to Gen Z or <clears throat> that kind But I'm, of I'm looking at the reviews, and you can tell by the reviews who these people are. And they're like you. Mm-hmm. Like, fans of the alien. <clears throat> right? Fans of the, all the aliens. Mm-hmm. Right? But it's like, because you're a fan, you're never going to take it less than a five. Mm. It has the... You, the boxes that you still check yeah. off is for Alien. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah this is it, this is mm. it, this is it. But I think everybody that went like seven, <clears throat> six, <laughs> it's like, you could tell like, yeah, it, I love the the franchise, <laughs> but here's the problem. Yeah. Yes. And like, that's what they're yes. all doing here. Like, um, I'll, I'll read the taglines. Um, one guy wrote, um, it started like Aliens. It started like Alien, mm-hmm. continues like Aliens, ends like Prometheus. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> one guy it said did. that. <clears throat> so it's like, and one guy's like, all too familiar. Six stars. <laughs> 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 you know, it, it, you can tell he's a fan. Yeah, yeah. but he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to hit him with a shit. Why like, they, why do they <clears throat> like? Why do studios like greenlighting these fucking projects when it's like because it only has the intellectual property behind it. Yeah. So they know it's gonna make money. It's like you, like, it's like when you go to NASCAR. People who watch NASCAR, you know, you're going for the train wreck or the car wreck. You're going to see cars crash. That's what you're mainly gonna go for. Nah. But, that, but, but but here's the thing: if in NASCAR, the backing of like what's made that sport such so infamous or famous is because you get the high octane, the cars are driving, they're going really fast, and you're seeing your favorite driver. But there's a chance of the wreck. But it's already yeah. built its reputation. It's been around for almost a hundred years. Yeah. So these IPs are almost the same fucking thing. They can, it may not be the best fucking IP we put out, but hey, it already has a following. People love it. If you go see a wreck, you don't want to see a giant wreck. No, they do. That's what they pay for. They pay for the wrecks. But you're a fan. Like, it, it, like I love F1. Mm-hmm. I follow F1. But F1 is different. That's more of a skill base. It's like, it's I like don't you look for the glory wreck. of it. You look like if, for the, if, you know? if there's a wreck in F1, I see a wreck in F1, mm-hmm. I get pissed. Yeah. Like, okay, like wh- wh- what happened? What did you do? Yeah. You know, and then it's like, ah, oh, now like we gotta slow the race down. Mm-hmm. Now it's getting longer. Mm-hmm. Now we're screwing up the orders. Uh, like this yeah. is like, come on. Yeah. But like, you know, I get what you're saying. Yeah, but but, 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 but look but, at the fan base. Yeah, the that's NASCAR. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, it's so funny. They yeah, just drive in a circle. You just wait for one person to get out of line and go. Come on. Ah! Yeah. It's funny to me how similar though NASCAR and F1 
kind of are, yet the fan base is just wildly different. Wildly yeah. different. Like, well, no, there's there's really not a lot of similarities to it. I mean, they're racers, well, they're, they're cars. Okay, but, but yeah. I know it's not exactly the same, but it's, it's the same. Like an F1 driver compared to a NASCAR driver. Here's what you can do with an F1 driver. F1 drivers, naturally, or because they're trained, mm-hmm. their necks are way bigger. Their necks are this big. Why is that? Because of all the G-force that they oh, have to take. And, yeah. They're taking G-forces. They're not doing like NASCAR drivers. NASCAR drivers, <laughs> I guarantee if you look at a NASCAR driver mm-hmm. and you're just sitting there, his neck's probably tilted like this a little <laughs> bit because he's always going always like this. Left. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, but like with an F1 driver, you look at their neck. They have machines that has weight that pulls on their head and they have to pull the weight back. Because that's how much G force you're yeah. fighting. They're fighting G forces like a uh, a pilot. Yeah, mm. you can put a Na- you can put a NASCAR driver in a chair. They did it with so he's he's called George Russell, right? He races for Mercedes Benz. George Russell, they said they put him in a chair, <clears throat> and they say you're racing down this track. Three, two, one, go. And then he sits there, he closes his eyes, and then he's like this, okay, I'm going to take the left turn now, Whoa. Go the right turn, and they put the video next to uh, next to you so you can see, he's matching every turn. These drivers, they remember every single, t- they can drive these track, <clears throat> these tracks with their eyes closed if you let them. Yeah. Wow. That's how much of skilled drivers yeah. they are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if you look at a, a, a pit crew <clears throat> from F1 to NASCAR, you know how fast F1 pit crew can go? Hmm. Change a car. Eight uh, seconds? Huh? Eight seconds? Yeah. Dude, my buddy and I was trying to pick a, a become a pit crew. For uh, what? NASCAR? NASCAR. No, oh. F1. F1. F1? Yeah, yeah. It's tough because guess what? Those pit crew guys, some of them are athletes. They have to mm-hmm. be, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they make they hire football players all yeah. the time. Yeah, so but, but my buddy, he 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 is he's a tall like strat like. Huge you guy. can't be too tall though. But that's 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 the thing. But he yeah. was uh, but he was former um, range army ranger. Nice. And he and he was like those guys are just way fucking fast. I couldn't keep yeah. up. Yeah. Like, Here's a question for oh, you. Oh, one one f- cool fact. <laughs> you. It, I wear size 13. You wear 13. 13. 10. 10 and a half. Uh, you could be an F1 driver. We Wait, can't. Really? It was a pedal thing? Our feet are too big. Really? <laughs> yep. Are yep. you serious? Yes. That's the, why? It's the pedals? It, it, yeah, because you got to get into the pedals to change and all that oh, stuff because they're all next to each other. Oh, wow. And it's like when, you, when you're driving an F1 car, <clears throat> it's not a NASCAR. F1 car, you're sitting flat on your ass with your legs straight. Oh, Jesus. It's not no arch. You have a little arch to flex your feet, but the pressure, it's like basically you have to put your whole body weight into pressing that brake. Right. It's it's not like, oh, real sensitive. It's like yeah. you really have to go. Yeah. Like really press down and hit mm. the gas and like... So yeah. you're, you're every every fiber of your muscles. Yeah, so like you can't flex. compare... Nice I'm not. Com- like, you I mean, just said no, it. You I'm said not it. saying that. Reg- the, like I'm just saying it's they're both vehicles that are racing, and then how yeah, dramatically so go kart as well. But uh, is there? A, I'm talking about the fans <laughs> here. I'm talking about the fans. So like I'm just saying the fucking fan base are so dramatically different. Looking at F1 and the F1 is like sophisticated fans, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah. Then, T. Yeah, T. Yeah, and Ricky Booby. Chamomile. <laughs> Ricky <laughs> Booby. As they're Ricky driving. Booby. Hey, look at the NASCAR. Crepes, you know, crepes are really thin pancakes. Like, <laughs> just just, say, just say, you say you like, like crepes. Say you like crepes. Fuck like, you. <laughs> fuck you. He's like, they're really thin pancakes. He's like, yeah, I really like crepes. Say you like them. No, and he breaks his fingers when he said it already. <laughs> Why, is that interesting? Why do they, why does anybody wear helmets? Like bike helmets or NASCAR helmets? Because like, a, 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 for anything. Like you see you see guys riding motorcycles, they wear a helmet, right? Yeah. Oh, they're going to protect your head. But the average person get killed by a car going 55 miles per hour. <clears throat> and if you drive... So you're a, saying a driver in a car should wear a helmet? If you try to protect people? Yeah. 
if you try to protect somebody. But you got airbags. Those cars don't have airbags. Well, here's my thing. They, they make they everyone wears helmets for like NASCAR and all that stuff. Yeah. But they go over the speed limit of what it would take to kill a person. Yeah. A person or can die from a, a car anywhere from 55 to up to 70. And a person in the car could be 70 miles per hour could kill you. Yeah. So why the fuck are you wearing helmets in the NASCAR? Because it's just <laughs> not going to save your life if you get hit for a car. Yeah. I just think we do. I think we do dumb things just for like force of security. But yeah, yeah, it's gonna protect you. Dumb ways to die. Um, it's so the un, um. You know, let's say driving facts, and a lot of people don't don't, don't notice. And there's a lot of people who sit hood booger style. Hood booger style. <laughs> it's like seat all the way back, <laughs> laying back, driving. It's, it's like, like you know eyes your barely over the dashboard. Yeah. Like the person that sits where like they could just see over the, the right, just, thing just a little <laughs> bit and like oh, I know where the hood's at you know and you look you <laughs> like, just like this you look super cool driving you know your reaction time to anything none. from that you have none none. Yeah. none basically longer than like an elderly person yeah like who it's is like a you think you look cool but then when you get hit it's like. Yeah, okay, you look cool. Maybe you can drive. Yeah, look, benefit of that, maybe you can drive. But if fucking Joe Schmo down here doesn't know how to drive and he isn't paying attention and he's mm-hmm. driving super fast, yeah. you You're have not gonna no see that. reaction time to work with what's happening. If someone comes and hits you from behind, you're flying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, if you got to hit that brake, someone short stops in front of you. You're flying. Yeah. Like, when you're driving a vehicle, there's certain ways how your body's supposed to be positioned. It's like this. When you're, when you're holding the steering wheel, normally I drive in one hand. If I'm going really fast, I'll put two hands on the wheel. Are we doing the Jackie wheel, Robinson to, with that thing? Yeah. <laughs> two hands on the wheel. just Because you can feel the difference with two hands on a steering wheel mm. compared to one. There's a big difference that people don't realize. And But it's like when you're holding that steering wheel, your elbows should be slightly bent because if you hit a car what happened is your elbows bend in if you're straight white knuckling this bitch <laughs> with your arm straight out you can you can break yeah, you your up elbow you saying, tensed yeah. up everything you show everything can go mm-hmm. your 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 legs your legs shouldn't be straight on a pedal that's what they say about mm-hmm. with um drunk drivers why you even notice what when people get hit by drunk drivers, why the drunk drivers sometimes live, and then the person who's driving, who's not drunk, who got struck, why they die, is because the drunk driver, his body is loose, so when he hits the car, he's kind of going with it, Yeah. but yeah. when the person who got hit, they tense up, right. <clears throat> and they're the ones who die from that Interesting, shit. yeah. Because yeah. mm-hmm. yeah. there's a certain way your body's supposed to be when you're driving, Yeah. because then your body can fold. When you get hit, mm-hmm. like it just no, you, you, you basically yeah. absorbing the blow more yeah. than so than it, which is true. It's <clears throat> better to absorb it than fight against it. Yeah, yeah. and then you break elbows and <laughs> yeah, ribs and it's shoulders. Insane. Um, don't try drunk people. <laughs> Except if it's GTA, try drunk. Oh drink. my god, I cannot wait for the GTA. It's gonna be forever. Oh, yeah, at first they say 2025, then they're like 2026. Six. Well, why? Why do you think they're holding it back? Crunch time, things? baby. They're trying to make the game good, and they know they they they, they just they put out deadlines to get you hyped, and they just expect to meet those deadlines. But being the fact that Rockstar is they they they're more likely like most guys, they have investors, but they almost like think of them like the Steven <clears throat> Spielberg of the yeah. gaming industry, where they kind of take your time, Steve, whatever you need to get done. Right, right, right. So that's why they just do that for themselves because they know we want to make this game as great as we can. Let's not rush this. Mm-hmm. Like other games, and they get, then they got to do these fucking patches oh, and I all think that kind I, of I, stuff. Right, right now, they're saying uh, GTA 6 um, is only coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox console in 2025. Mm-hmm. Um, it's assuming right now that the PC version won't be happening until, uh, won't happen until years after launch. Yep. Years after launch. Yeah. Because the PC that. version, there's, there's, there's a lot more that goes into it. It's more meticulous. Mm-hmm. So it's a, you could do certain yeah. things on an Xbox and a, a Xbox and a PlayStation, but on a PC you have mods. Oh yeah, you can yeah. Do like mods. You can do whatever. You can be you like want. Superman. And also, yeah. everyone has different specs on on PC. Yeah. Like one of the major issues when a lot of these guys run into is like, so they have this thing called like a forty, like like the RTX. So it's like forty seventy RTX versus like say someone who's playing underneath like a twenty nine ninety whatever that is. So like the specs for the game. They have to give it a certain range so they get the most amount of players to be able to play it. Because if the game 
has a certain setting where you can't run it, then your PC is going to pretty much crash on the, any graphical setting you put it. So think of it like if you have, um, if they make a very up-to-date game, and they say from this range, if you have this chip on the low end and the high end of this chip, the game could run. Mm -hmm. But if you have anything <clears throat> lower than the low end, it won't run. And for them to do that, they got to go in and actually make this game Seamless for every fucking person who's yeah. gonna own a computer. Yeah, yeah. 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 Console, just, hey, make the game for this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone yeah. has the same fucking specs. It's probably more fun though to play on a con uh, on a PC. Oh man, probably. you can do so much shit. Yeah. Like, I've been playing Skyrim since since 2011 because all the mods I'm putting on PC. On PC? Okay. Yeah. I can't tell you how many boobies I got in the fucking <laughs> game. Everybody's running around with J cups and A cups and H cups and every kind of cups. But you can do a, a whole load you, of things. It's like, like Thomas the Tank Engine mod. Yeah. Like Thomas the Tank like, Engine. I, even the, the, <laughs> like, like, I just downloaded this cool combat mod. It's like the combat was really terrible when the game came out. But you accept it because that was like at the time. It's so, it's so dated. So these modders are making it almost like they're taking from games that exist now. Like the Elden Ring games and all these very fast-paced combat. And they put it into Skyrim. Oh, really? Where it's like real-time decapitations, real-time blood splatter. Is in, it's incredible. So it's more like... Yeah. Uh, it's very responsive. Yeah, it's insanity. Yeah. And these guys sometimes get fucking hired by places like Bethesda, who makes the game. Really? Because they have talented. Yeah. yeah. The they that they really made. good. Yeah. That's the only reason why... I so Amazon. Remember when they put out um, Fallout 4 or Fallout? Mm -hmm. The game Fallout 4 got a boost in terms of sales and playtime because really? of the show. Yeah. So that and so ever since that, they since Amazon's done success with that, they're trying to get them to get the rights for Skyrim. Because Skyrim's been around since but, 2011 and people are still playing this game. But, they, but they, then they said they're not allowing no, any, they don't any, want no any one, reimagining they, of it. They don't want to want fucking it up. TV show. Because they're yeah. still playing the game. Yeah. So Fallout still, 4 came out in 2015. Yeah, and people are still playing that game. And yeah. now it just got a boost. It goes. That's a fun one though, because that's yes. more like customizable. Mm -hmm. The world is much more open. Yeah, I think the my my friend Annabelle, she's she's in the show. Mm -hmm. She um she said that they're gonna probably go to L. A. to film this one, the second season now, mm -hmm. not do it in Jersey or New York. That's um, so stupid because they did such a good job yeah. in, in New Jersey, and New York for the first. Well, season. you know what? But they go into that desert, so that's reason why. Yeah, so that's L. A. Vegas. needs it too because they are losing. Hurting. <laughs> They got nothing. Atlanta's gaining it all. New York, New Jersey, mm -hmm. like they're all gaining it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like L.A. now is gonna be. It's gonna be a true desert. Good. They're losing yeah. their reality shows. Good. Really? Yeah. That's where it all started. They're right? losing Orange County. all of their. Uh, most of their. Uh, it's all coming to the East Coast. Good for them. Yeah. Good for them. Yeah. I mean, this is really karma. Not, I mean, what do you they have on the West Coast? They gate keep kept this fucking industry for almost a hundred years. Everyone had to go to <clears throat> goddamn like, over what, there just what, to make a living. What do you have Screw on the West Coast? You have California, mm -hmm. you have Vegas, and you have Colorado. That's all you have. Like, yeah. what else do you have? Seattle, but Seattle. What then, goes on yeah. in Seattle besides a lot of homeless guys pooping in the street? Yeah, exactly. Not Rainier. Mm -hmm. I mean, you do have Mount Rushmore out west. I yeah. I really want to see Mount Rushmore. I want to see Crazy I Horse. really want to see Mount Rushmore, yeah. too. But I guarantee you this. You go to any teenager now, and you hey, you tell them about Mar Mount Rushmore, and you say, hey, you want to go to Mount Rushmore? What mm. the fuck is that? <laughs> Not even Hitchcock wanted to see Mount Rushmore. They shot... Wow. Yeah, South by Southwest. <laughs> you know, South by, they, they ain't shoot that shit at Mount, <laughs> Mount Peter. Fuck that. We ain't <laughs> going out. That's the smallest Mount Rushmore I've ever fucking seen. You ever seen that thing? I apparently it's sm a lot smaller than people think. No, it, that, thing, yeah, they, they get that thing looked like it was a f on top of a table, and they just shot the. <laughs> it's like a miniature on top of a table, and they <laughs> shot the camera towards it. It's the same thing with the Alamo. It's like Alamo. that's surprisingly small. Everyone's South Dakota. South Ugh. Dakota. Ugh. Have you heard about Crazy Horse? Crazy Horse. So it's a it's a I probably already talked about this in the pod chat, mm. podcast probably, but it's a Native American like solely making yeah. their own statue crazy horse and it's mm -hmm. supposed to be like you can it's miles away from mount rushmore but if you're looking at mount rushmore crazy horse is like the same size but it's just that much bigger yeah. um but yeah so it's, it's, we're never going to see it in, in our lifetime because <clears throat> they're not using any kind yeah. of help from the government they're using dynamite and sawing away at it I was wondering something. Well, the like, South Dakota is in the in the the, the West. It's not really, Midwest. Midwest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm wondering what what do they? 
Like, how is Tinder out there? You ever wonder things like that? Like, because, like, in small towns, like, how, how much selection can you really have? <laughs> is that my cousin? <laughs> you see, like, mom? No, no. <laughs> you just swipe in, like, the same 10 people every time. You and your mom matches. It's like, uh, oh, no, mama. <laughs> mama, no. Yes, mama, mama, no. no. <laughs> You match up with the pastor's wife. Right. <laughs> oh, Miss Richardson, why? <laughs> God is watching, Miss Richardson. That's so weird. No, I used to live in a small town in Virginia called King George. And I kid you not, that was the smallest fucking place I've ever, ever lived How in my people? life. God, I mean, if there weren't a naval base there, I would say close to 2,000 people. Oh, really? my Yeah, gosh. but there's a naval base there, so... You know, two thousand. You'll get that in a three block radius here. Yeah, in New York. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's two thousand people on your block right, right now. Right, right. Like, <laughs> it's it's incredibly small, but their their biggest claim to fame is that they had the birthplace of George Washington, and that's mm. like, great, cool, fuck you, King George. Like, George and then George Washington. Washington? Yeah, he, he was, was born, born in Virginia. Virginia. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Yeah, chopped down the cherry tree. Mm-hmm. Said, was that true though? Did he really chop down the cherry tree? It's probably true. He never he told lied. a lie. Never, yeah, I was going to say he <laughs> lied about that one, too. <laughs> it's like, well, he told lies. <laughs> yeah. Like, how can you get... Stupid? My teeth are real, and it's all wooden. Like, how, yeah. can, you, how can you be a general and, and tell your boys, we're all going to live. Everybody else will His nose is gross. <laughs> no, you can't tell him, you're going to die, fellas. I hope you're going to die. <laughs> Well, why don't you know I'm going to stay in the boat no, no, <laughs> you no, guys no, are no. going to die I'm standing here in this cool pose as I we love, go down on this boat I love how that painting is of a retreat like, that's such a famous painting but it's of them retreating that really? was them retreating? Yeah. I thought that was them going away. into war <laughs> so they flipped the painting around so they can look like he's going towards the <laughs> This way, fellas, get the fuck out of here. If you zoom into the painting, you see, like, the other guys running after them. <laughs> the funny. pitchforks. <laughs> Can you imagine as the war is waging, and, and you have the fucking painter, he's painting it as they're winning, and then, we're losing, boy! And he just ripped this shit apart, and just doing another thing. Now he went like this. <laughs> <laughs> The drummer boy? <laughs> oh, he's dead. They had no boy. Every- that one guy that... It's like, you're going into war. You think you would want to be quiet. <laughs> you make it sound a little... Well, they chose... They chose Play the, Yankee Doodle. They chose the one guy who was the most suicidal. Like, who hated his life. You hate your life, boy? I hate my life. Yeah, here's a drum and get out there beat some Let the enemy know we're here. <laughs> he was the kamikaze even before... He was the kamikaze. kamikaze. The Japanese looked towards the drummer boy when he was at World War II for inspiration. <laughs> drummer boy. Hi. <laughs> it's just like a picture of a drummer boy on the wall. <laughs> Thinking the soldiers ready to all die in fucking place. you drum in uh, English? Kamikaze. kamikaze. Yeah. 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 We are kamikaze. You know? We are drummer boy. Drummer boy. Drummer boy. Kamikaze. Fucking we play terrible. loud. <laughs> they can see us coming. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's insane. Did you know they opened up a uh, an uh, airfield by um, somewhere in Japan? What? U.S. did? Are they, oh, uh, really? Do they, do they teach them how to land planes there? <laughs> no, I think they're getting ready for some shit is what they were saying. I think they were... <laughs> There's actually a three-part course. Take off, fly, and land. All these Japanese do sign away. You land? We can land. They teach them how to land. They land? You know, like, what? You mean once they land, the gear, the, the gear goes up and also come down again? <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. I thought you just fucked shit up. I thought you just flying the buildings. <laughs> I guess we the Arab guy. No, that's us. Me and me flying yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We started that. <laughs> Don't take from us. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, oh, well, uh, but we have heard of fables of famous drummer boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yankee Doodle in it. I did, I did, that song never made sense to me. He had eyes of macaroni. Yankee Doodle went, went to, to town, town as a macaron. What does that mean? Stuff a feather in this cap. 
No, the, was it the other I way? I thought it was stuff a feather in his cap and call it macaroni. Yeah, that's what he called macaroni. macaroni. So yeah. what was the line about his eyes? What was that? His eyes. I used to say it, he it, it, stuck a feather up his ass and yeah. call it macaroni. <laughs> because it does rhyme with macaroni. Then you gay. Huh? And... And that's the line I'm, I'm missing because because whatever that he says, the line is it rhymes with macaroni. Macar- right, right. Yankee Doodle. All right, here we go. Town. Yankee Doodle lyrics. Let's look at this one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> Yankee Doodle went to town uh, riding on a pony. pony yes, stuck, stuck a, a feather, feather in, in his cap. cap and called it macaroni. Yankee Doodle, keep it up. Yankee Doodle, dandy. Mind the music and the step, and with the girls be handy. Hmm. Mm. It's part two of the song, it says. It goes four part. What? Part two. Father and I went down to camp, along with Captain Gooding. There we saw the men and boys. As... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It doesn't... It doesn't progress well. <laughs> <laughs> then we saw the men and boys. <laughs> It's thick. As thick. It's hasty pudding. <laughs> wow. Hasty pudding. <laughs> Repeat the course. Yankee Doodle, keep it up. Yankee Doodle, dandy. Mind the music and the step, and with the girls be handy. There's three. There was Captain Washington upon a slapping stallion, giving orders to his men. I guess there was a million. Repeat the course. Yankee Doodle, keep it up. Yankee Doodle, dandy. Mind the music and the step. And with the girls be handy. There's part four, the last part. Then the feather on his hat, they looked so very fine. Oh, I wanted desperately to get to give my Jemima. Mm-hmm. Is that where Aunt Jemima comes from? Then the feather on his hat, they looked so fine. Oh, I wanted desperately to get to give my Jemima. <clears throat> He's looking for his Jemima. What does Jemima mean? Aunt Jemima? But is that is that like a I mean, that's the that's the pancakes, right? Mm-hmm. Pancake mix. It was actually based yeah. on a real woman. Aunt Jemima. Uh, she was a model. And these idiots took her off the bottom. <clears throat> and she was a model who was hired during the most racist time in the fucking America and made a boatload of money being a model and spokeswoman for a freaking you know, Aunt Jemima, and these idiots are like, oh, that's racist. That's just so, so just erase them. So, yeah, you, yeah, just, yeah. you just did the racist all the favor they wanted. Yeah. Like, I couldn't wait to get that black bitch off my right. fucking pancake mix. Right. <laughs> like, you idiots. Now, Uncle Ben. <laughs> there you go. We got your you know, all Uncle cost. Ben's gone. The Native American lady on uh, the Land of Lake Butter yeah, is there. But well, a- you know who's there? Quaker Oats. Yeah, nice. he's still there. The white nice. still there. Whites win again. <laughs> <laughs> and this time, at the hands of dumb idiot black folk. Like, come on, you idiots! Come on, <sighs> dude. Uh, I am, I am pumped. So they're trying, they're gonna hopefully bring back the the Washington uh, Commanders logo. They need to do that. They're going to bring back. Well, oh, they're trying to. They're trying to. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. Redskins. Yeah. I mean, they probably signed. They never even asked. The, they never even asked the family. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, does it matter? Does the family on the team? Does the family on the trademark? No. Okay. But does it doesn't matter though. You know? But they're right. Getting rid of that shit. Not cool. <coughs> Racing good listen. history there. Some people. I mean, I think some nations saw that was a prideful thing. You know. Cause, like, Cause like these idiots like it's like that 1984 you know the whole thing and like, you just erasing things mm-hmm. and like like we, like we just made the joke about it, but you really are just playing to the hands of people who do want it gone like the racists who don't want to see any representation right. of anybody they glad you're getting rid of right them. right right you idiots you're just helping them right <laughs> oh my god we thought we were helping <clears throat> yeah, we were. That's oh like, wait there's like, so many different versions of Yankee Doodle. <laughs> Is there a rap version, like an Eminem version, where he screams it all the time? He can do it. It's just so <laughs> weird. Like, I just read one, but I don't know what what like. Now there's so many different versions. They're saying. <laughs> you look so concerned. Because it's like, why would you lie to me? They just lied. It's like a hip hop track. Like they always get like a remix or a remix or a remix with and DMX has- on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that song is four hundred years old, probably, right? Probably. Nicky Doodle? 
I mean, if, if they're talking about hasty pudding, <clears throat> probably, yeah, 400. The men and boys men and are boys. so thick, thick, like hasty pudding? <laughs> <laughs> what? If you could go back in time, what? like, what would you bring <laughs> if you could go back in time? Ooh. Like, to that era. Just ab- absolutely era. blow their minds. <clears throat> I'll go to. I'll just bring like soap and a thong and give it to the finest fucking lady <laughs> back then. Take this, scrub this, wear this. Believe it. Because you can imagine you use it on her, and then you go to another. You walk two miles down, and you're like, oh no, she's better. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck up. Cause, cause why, they wore all that frumpy stuff. Can you imagine what, what could have been hidden under all of that? Oh yeah. Yeah, no like, idea. You know what I'm saying? But like, they, that's really what they wear, wear <clears throat> corsets. A lot of them mm-hmm. at least wear corsets. But it was they were very slim women. There were no fatties running around. Yeah. It was a different time period. It was considered being attractive if you were sick. I would, okay, well, how many things are you okay. saying we can bring if we can go Guns, back phones, back? television. Like what you need to survive and will make your life palatable there. Okay, but would, not everything. I like, would bring a gun. Of course. With the largest Magazine. mag that <laughs> <is>. <laughs> right <laughs> it's like whatever the largest, largest mag, mag there is <laughs> so it's Jesus. like I know alright I got let's just say 75 bullets 100 mm-hmm. 200 whatever uh, hopefully there's a 200 round mag <laughs> right <Just laughs> as long as a fucking person fucking like this like yeah. Rambo style <laughs> I would definitely bring that um I would bring I would bring one of those water, um, where you can drink the water purifiers, purifiers, oh, okay, water yeah. purifier. Uh, I would definitely bring. Um, how many things are we saying? Let's say five things. Five, five things. things. So you got a gun, a water a gun, purifier, a water purifier. Um, now here's the business side of me. I would bring a nudie mag. <laughs> <laughs> I would bring a nudie bag. And I would make deals with men in the village. You see her? <laughs> I know her. <laughs> I can introduce you to her. If you can do this and this and this and give me this. So that's my bargaining chip. Mm. My bargaining chip would be the nudie bag. I'm you gonna use that as my money. And like, you know, tell people, yeah. like, oh, this is what you can uh three. Um I would definitely bring like one of those like <laughs> a katana, <laughs> a katana, <laughs> like a samurai sword. Something's like really sharp, you know, and like but really large, where it protrudes. Where people yeah. are like, oh shit, what is that? And I pull it out <laughs> with the signature of Randy Jackson. Randy Jackson. <laughs> so so far, you're a horny samurai warrior <laughs> who's also very thirsty. <laughs> 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 and, and, but the fifth one would be would um. You can't bring technology because you can't. Yeah, you wouldn't have any satellite. You won't have any satellite or anything. You bring a Game Boy like that, uh, <clears throat> right? You bring a Game Boy. Mm-hmm. No, I, I, I would, I would try to get a large container mm-hmm. of seasoning, spices. They did like the spices back because, yep. As a bargaining chip, you can meet this nudie girl, or you can taste this wonderful chicken. Also, if I can have some as well. Also, if you don't do this deal, I have Ms. Mag who say otherwise, and this Randy Jackson. I'm just bringing up. Who is this Randy Jackson he picks up? He must be a king. This one. <laughs> You you sound like a character from Skyrim, basically. It's just like <laughs> just jacked up with all these weapons, okay. just like making deals. Oh, but you don't see the weapons; it just like, magically appears on my hands. <laughs> okay, you're five. Oh god, uh, a lighter. Blow their minds away. Fuck yeah, you're right. Oh, that's a good one. Um. Uh, see me there with my sandwich. <laughs> 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 a lighter. A lighter. A bicycle. A bicycle. They yeah. had bicycles. Well, I thought they were like Middle Ages. What are we talking about? I didn't say Middle Ages. I said like fucking George Washington time. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Did. I would change it up. <laughs> oh, no. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> Still good with my stuff. <laughs> Still good with <laughs> 
<laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it's still good. <laughs> Especially the water purifier and the nudie mat. <laughs> <laughs> Just a terrifying <laughs> fucking warrior <laughs> with a giant head sword in the largest back. <laughs> so important. <laughs> Everyone in the village is like, we can't. Leave him alone. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> That's Randy Jackson. Leave him alone. The fuck that. He was showing the magazine, and he was like, "You should see this. Thing. There's naked women. Oh, let me page. It's amazing. I need to make breast this big. You get a whole. You get a whole village of them trying to take it from his hut or his fucking cabin, but he has a bunch of footage they can put in the he never reloads! He never reloads! <laughs> he never! It's so hard! It's I don't know how many bullets I have! I can see the fucking guy writing a letter to his wife. He's still under fire and pressure. My dude is love. He never reloads! It comes with a heavy pot. We died in battle against this Randy Jackson. He never reloads! He never reloads! He never reloads! <laughs> Oh my gosh. <coughs> <coughs> it was literally raining bullets. <laughs> There'll be like fucking folk tales written about oh, yeah. the man from nowhere who never reloads. <laughs> the man with titties on every pages. Never reloads. Never reloads. <laughs> and the longest sword called Randy Jackson. <laughs> he has a sword. It's, it's curved. And it's sharp as always. <laughs> the prophecy has told of this hundreds of years ago. This man. He so, drinks nothing oh, but the shit. Shit. Oh, <laughs> water. There is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my what God. the best of seasoned chicken chicken night. <laughs> he has all the seasoning. Okay, wait, you got lighter? <laughs> lighter? He was over here lighting people's cigarettes <laughs> like, in their fucking minds. Oh, shit. <laughs> Back in Jordan, they're like, why do I need a lighter? Here's a torch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a lighter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with, um... <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I do a bike? They didn't have bikes back then. I don't think they had bikes. You can do a bike. 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 Your bike right. will probably right. be better. You'll go faster than everyone else. <laughs> faster than a horse. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Uh, you, bring, you should bring an electric bike. <laughs> he pedals. <laughs> he doesn't pedal. And it goes. He just flies through the sand. <laughs> um, and then... <laughs> I'm just so thinking of you just <laughs> causing absolute <laughs> chaos. <laughs> Not only are you destroying this town, but also never touch the pages of Titties. <laughs> he will rain bullets upon you. <laughs> okay, wait, come on. You got you got a lighter, a bicycle. A bicycle. <laughs> You're just riding downtown with a lighter? <laughs> The British are coming! <laughs> the British are coming! Okay, a lighter, bike. Uh, let's do uh, a fish, uh, fishing pole. A fishing pole? Yeah. Okay, you better hope you'll be by the sea. Probably. I mean, okay. all the sounds are by, by the water. I mean, they're using cast nets back then, which actually probably is more efficient mm -hmm. than a fishing pole. But one of those ones where it's like it shoots out like, like a gun. Okay. <laughs> cool. uh, I don't know, like a bowling ball. A ball? No, come on, a bowling ball. Let me say, the hell is this? gonna roll it? I think it's like the best gem ever, like a, like an emerald. Uh, I'm trying to think of something like I, I like the technology is hard because like yeah, you need you satellite really, the source like, or gasoline. Like, you can't really gasoline, oil. So this is this is, and I become the best mm -hmm. oil tycoon, the best baron. How much oil are you taking with you? I don't know, like a jug. But I said this is what we can start with. If we just drill in the hole right here, we can frack the land, and I become just the best baron of the town. So you go around with a jug of oil, saying, "I got this oil." 
if you tap here. But I own this land, <laughs> but you have to pay me pay to me. tap this. <laughs> and so people pay you, they start tapping, you run away with the jug, <laughs> with the wire on your bicycle. <laughs> I'm just on fire. <laughs> Take their money and you go to every town and you just do that. <laughs> with a fishing pole. We've never seen a fish before, but here's a fishing pole. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Marcus. <laughs> you have five items. I would kinda go with like what you was originally wanted to do like chaos. <laughs> but first thing would bring I'll bring back Starbucks. <laughs> what? Starbucks? Yeah, hear me out. I will destroy nations if I put back Starbucks. Wait. <laughs> you will. How? And their coffee is so addictive, alright? Can you imagine <clears throat> if you gave it to someone back then and they would have to just oh. like the kind of coffee we have today? Oh, yeah. Oh, forget it. I feel hard. <laughs> first. And that's how it hurts. And that's how I'm cornering the market. I so feel I'm 10 just, feet tall. So we be running out. <laughs> the, the ankles are running. Big coffee. Big coffee. <laughs> and strong as an ox. Okay. So Part you, of the car. I would bring back a, a, you a bring car. Back, okay. But. We're, what? Because you got to think about it. You, you, you don't get What time? But what? here, you think about okay. it. Think about it. If you, it's not for me to use the car. It's to leave the car there so they can study the car uh-huh. and make better cars in the future. By the time we come now, you have fucking flying cars. Could you imagine if they got all the components? Remember, they were they were dummies back then. People was already messing with metal and steel and things like that and learning and tinkering. You get people to study these things like, oh, this is how this functions. You already gave them a leg up. Mm. So whatever they're gonna build, so upon, you're helping society. Yes. <laughs> I'm thinking about because you. Oh, the, I'm thinking about myself. Yeah. So I'm like, hmm, how I do think, wow. yeah, I? I think a car would definitely you know make them go, oh, wow, and you can make even better. So you cars. bring a car. I'll bring a car. <laughs> I'll, of course, bring, Yeah, of course, I'm, <laughs> of course, I have to bring a gun because I'm a black dude. So I got to, <laughs> I got to do that. <laughs> I got to bring several fucking guns. Unfortunately, um, imagine you bring. Ima- okay, wait, wait. Do you bring a car, a gun, mm-hmm. a Starbucks? <laughs> okay, you got two more. Okay, <sighs> you, you, you think Star looks like just like the cup? No, the like the the, the the recipes. Oh, <laughs> the recipe. cool. oh okay, okay, Everything. okay, okay. Got it, got it. <laughs> so all how right. to grow the beans? Yeah, grow all the beans, stuff, yeah, yeah. all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> um, I don't know. See, that's, I don't know what else I would do other than that. Yeah, could, but then again, then again, being the fact in my position, I probably would been like, I would probably bring that car and have tons of guns. It may bring more black people <laughs> free the slaves. <laughs> Kill the plantation and plantation. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. fucking, fucking, <clears throat> fucking yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, okay, so it's a Starbucks, a recipe of Starbucks mm-hmm. coffee, right? Gun, a car. More black folks. So more can, black folks. You can free, <laughs> free the other black folks. And then folks. what's your fifth one? I don't know. Um... Maybe bring back the idea of Instagram. So you can make uh, Instagram thoughts from the 17 oh, <laughs> Marcus would create... Here's the thing what Marcus would create. That would be, be my plantation. He's, just put a, put a big booty. He's definitely like a Marvel timeline where everything just fucking twitches. But Marcus is the type <clears throat> that creates the black community to be... The, the end all be all community in the future for sure <laughs> white people are the slaves <laughs> no I wouldn't say white people white people no but cool. they're like yeah. this wow the black folks know how to create cars and they have really good coffees and all this <laughs> stuff it's like you have black entre- entrepreneurs making mm. coffees building cars <laughs> <laughs> it's like, really, but see that, that would be the problem though like I'll, I'll set them on try to set them on the right path and then disappear Ooh. into the night. I'm black folk. I like, give him a gun, <laughs> car, some coffee. I'm like, gonna stay up all night. You're gonna fight for your freedom. You're gonna drive one night. Say, in the course of one night, a black guy drinks so much caffeine, gets so fucking yeah. hippity, and takes a gun, starts shooting people, driving exactly. down. Exactly. Like, what fucks up is I go back to the future and I look at the timeline. Marcus Glover was considered to be the first A.O. Hitler. What? <laughs> What do you mean? He enslaved almost six million white people. Let's do them a favor. <laughs> I brought an auto, auto bond. So he just killed everybody. I gave them coffee. It, 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 it's like, with a combination oh. of coffee Coffee's a, a drug now. <laughs> it's like coffee's a drug. Coffee, drug, and driving is not a good thing. It just starts off like they, they, the black folk got their hands on guns and they start drinking coffee which made them really, really, really hyper. They went around with a psychotic, a psychotic caffeine episode killing people, driving their car, killing more white people. 
<laughs> and then I'll be on every corner we have like I'll be a Popeyes on my black guy I can't see on my black guy <laughs> what do you mean no chicken the owner's there I eat the supply <laughs> I eat the supply I eat the supply I the king of being a black guy be a white dude <laughs> With blonde hair <laughs> fight for like, I have a dream. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh, we, black folk can always say Negro and you can say the nigga anymore. That's a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> they say we start calling them whites, but it's like, it's derogatory. It's uh-huh. Caucasian. It's really Caucasian. Caucasian. It's like, <laughs> they're, they're calling Caucasian. <laughs> Freaking racist. It's What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> what? <coughs> No, don't say the C word. No, don't say. What do you mean I can't say cracker? It's <laughs> <laughs> racist. It's <laughs> racist. It's cracker. <laughs> that would be cracker. very funny. That would be funny. <coughs> <coughs> the whole world reverse. <laughs> oh my god! And there you go. Stories of the man with the samurai sword, the large mag, nudie magazines with seasoning. <laughs> Go home to the man with the bicycle and <laughs> the fishing wallet. And then came Black Adolf Hitler. <laughs> oh, 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 the is unknown. <laughs> we would fuck up the courses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like, yeah, but that's what they call what they call that the butterfly effect. Like when you do yeah, one little thing and it just amplifies. But 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 that we're doing a bunch of things. Yeah, we're <laughs> doing a bunch of things. <laughs> we're, <laughs> <whole time. laughs> we're just going. By the time it gets to the future, flying cars, mm-hmm. there'll be unlimited <laughs> magazines for guns. It'll be like flying bicycles with fishing poles shooting <laughs> out of it. <laughs> Cars running on Starbucks. <laughs> cars cars running, running on, on Starbucks. Starbucks. <laughs> no more gasoline. Cars <laughs> running on Starbucks. <laughs> on caffeine. Oh, shit. You take away from my business because I'm all about the oil. Oh, yeah, car, we just jug of oil. <laughs> <laughs> it means nothing. Nothing. Oil is just fucking lube right now. <laughs> it's, just, it's natural. <laughs> it's a natural lubricant. <laughs> Speaking of lube, fucking P. Oh, Diddy. Diddy. Oh. The Diddler. The how diddler. many? How, I want to know. A thousand how, bottles of baby oil and lube. How big? Uh, that's what? Oil. What? A thousand yeah. bottles. That's where, the, that's where the memes are coming from? Everyone's yes. slipping and sliding? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just saying that because it was like a parent trap kind no, of thing. No. That's insane. Whoa. Like, he's going I, down, bro. They're it's saying done. he's going for life. He's gone. They're saying the, the the minimum might be life. He's done. Him and R. Kelly are going to be bunk beds. R. Kelly's bunk already beds. fucking there. But it's like, but to go to life, he's in his 50s, right? Yeah, he should be. Yeah, he's in his 50s. That sucks. It's like, what, what true, like, what evidence are we not being told right now for him to face life? Mm-hmm. But, no, but my bigger question is like, all right, so fine. He's like, is, is it shocking that a rich, powerful guy, regardless of race, don't give a shit about that, <clears throat> is doing the praise shit on the side? It happens all the time. I, I, show, I, I think, think all these actors they do They said it. it's a chain. They said it's like a, a they, as in from... The, 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 the nefarious Like all these people yeah, I've, mm-hmm. I've been reading and seeing. I don't. It's, it's all different stories. You don't know who to believe, what to believe yeah. anymore until it come, becomes a court case. But then you don't even know to believe that too because right. you don't know if the evidence are true. Right. But people are saying like it's 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 a it's a chain. It's like a mob business. Mm-hmm. And Diddy's being used as the face of it. Yeah. Probably. He's a part of the piece. That's his piece of the puzzle. And there's other people involved. I mean, that's a powerful word you're talking about, bro. It's a very powerful world. Yes. I, I doubt you could tell, like, you can, uh, look at guys like Kevin Spacey, what he went through, right? Yeah. Like, 10 years ago, Kevin Spacey was loved by America. We loved him as an actor. We thought he was, you know, both Broadway and, you know, yeah. on film. He was great everywhere he went. Then he got in trouble. Nobody wants to touch you now. Mm-hmm. Now, what did Didi do to get himself in this position? Of course, he committed crimes. We don't think <clears throat> all these guys are not committing crimes. He did something mm-hmm. Backstage. backstage something we don't yeah. see he said something mm-hmm. to someone because they all yeah. defined probably, they all defined yeah, but the problem with, I think that Diddy probably gained so much of an influence and power that he spoke back to the real influence and power 
<clears throat> and basically, I'm Diddy. I can do it. And they're like, really? Okay, Most Diddy. Diddy. Okay, we gave you the power. Now you're abusing the power. We'll take the power away. Mm-hmm. I mean, listen, this, yeah. is, this is all conspiracy. Mm-hmm. We don't know. I mean, it could all be conspiracy. Conspiracy, because you're listening to everybody, <clears throat> and you're trying to put it all together, and this is how social media makes you go mad, mm-hmm. is when you're listening to all this and you're trying to put it together. It's like you don't even know what to believe anymore. But, I mean, that's my conspiracy theory. Mm-hmm. But it's like, it, it's like, there's called the Freakathon yeah. <clears throat> that they're doing, the and it's like, shit. it goes over like a day or two or multiple days. They would, like, people would be on IV just to get fluids to recoup from what they were doing. Yeah. What's Freakathon? Oh. It's I think he, like just, a little St. James Island kind of situation? No, but he was making people have sex. Like, he would hire sex workers. Sex. Yeah, he would hire even, porn yeah. stars. Yeah. He would hire porn stars, and there'll be people of influence there that partakes in it. Uh-huh. Got it. And then these people would partake in it, but then there'll be cameras all around. Mm-hmm. But there'll be cameras in areas that you don't even think think they were and, and girls are getting yeah. abused for not doing it they girls, don't yep, do it. They would, they'll, they'll force them yep some girls were getting abused there were areas where if like let's just say you went to a freakathon right and you're like oh my god this girl I really want to do something with her but I don't want the cameras to see me I'm going to take her in this corner you take it to the corner there's a camera right there, there and you don't even know right. right there were cameras and angles that they were saying that mm. people didn't know and there were people of high you know, structure like influencers, actors, whatever that were partaking in this that then found out, oh my god, I was being recorded. Mm-hmm. And then here comes the oh, hey, well, yeah, got you on video, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I need from you now, mm-hmm. yeah, and I'll help you out. You do this, I do this for you, <clears throat> you go there, yeah, you go there, and then that's it. That's kind of yeah, the, that <clears throat> power of. Blackmailing mm-hmm. everyone. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so powerful. Exactly. I mean, they do it all the time in freaking politics. Yeah. Yeah, they do Lobbyists. Lobbyists. I mean, look at Epstein. You know, you know, of course, he did not commit suicide, but he had the best source of blackmail ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Went on that and that's island. why all of a sudden... <clears throat> and he's found dead. Dead. Yeah, he didn't do it. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's wild yeah, how they it, do these things. People were scared that he was going to spill names. <clears throat> he was going to say some shit. He, I mean, because why not? He, he he's caught. He's going to be in prison forever. And so we still he still don't know he, the names of people on that list. Isn't that crazy? There were names on that list that were leaked, but all mm-hmm. of a sudden the, that's over with. It's over mm-hmm. with, right? Right? No right. one like Bill really Clinton's on exactly. there. Exactly. Like, that's why it feels like somebody's controlling no this. Like you mm-hmm. can't just tell me like, oh, it wasn't no names on that list. Of course it had to be. He had a, He was getting millions of dollars. He had to have a clientele. It's impossible to say he didn't. Right. Like he was borrowing money from people and stuff like this. He had to know powerful people. Like, how can you tell me Dude, that you're there's on a list? Jets. Exactly. Like, who are these people I they mean, covering for? Uh, it's, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Because they easily will find you if you were some some little kid diddler out of school. Like, mm. you fucking on little kids, you would get exposed oh, very yeah. quick. You have no power. Who are Charles you? Charles Hanson yeah. would fucking show up right away. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like, all this happening, this, it's money, it's influence. It's, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I, I always could picture it where I swear I could picture it in my head like you ever seen those affinity p- pools? You ever seen those? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I could picture a I would guy. Love to have one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't you? A guy. I could picture a guy walking along that pool. His family inside <clears throat> is like a glass. Like it's a, a soundproof glass. The kid, the mother, just feeding the baby, and the husband is pacing around the fucking pool on the phone. Like get my name off that list. Oh, get my name. Right, right, this right, guy's right. probably worth fucking billions of dollars. Yeah. Those are the people who are not getting exposed. That were paying money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whatever it takes. Yeah, Get make this just fucking disappear. That exactly. Yeah, that's insane. <clears throat> see, I can see that. That's insane. There's no way oh, you for can sure. For sure, that happened. Yeah. But I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't. I don't know how and why it gets to that point. To the point where, like, like, why do it in public? Mm. Why when there's people around? Like, what? Mm. Why are we? Why are these people doing this? Right. Yeah. <clears throat> it's true. Keep so it within many. the privacy of your own home. But you, when you, I guess when you think when you get that powerful, I'm just guessing here. I mean, not there. But okay. I can, no, I can I'm imagine not, yeah. you being that rich and famous or that powerful just in general. You feel invincible. You probably could do anything you want. You know what? You hear something crazy? I'm powerful. 
laughs> it's gonna cut into his laughing. Like, ah! Okay. But someone powerful don't have sex with this lady. Now I'm thinking to my like, you know, no one's gonna hear about the story unless she went out and you know said who she slept with. Yeah. But she has that as her trump card. Right. Right. If she wanted to ruin this guy. She could do it. But she's going around telling people right now. She is. The only person I know she probably told was like, so the person she told was that relative and that relative oh, told she us. No, she's on Instagram. Beautiful girl. She's like one of those models if that, if it's not, she's trying to be like a model. <clears throat> but mm-hmm. this person she slept with obviously is a powerful person. Yeah. And I guess that person is confident enough that she won't say anything. But then again, like I said, powerful guys do stupid fucking things. Mm-hmm. Anytime she wanted, she could probably just ruin that entire guy's life. Jesus Christ. Isn't it? Yeah. That's insane. I'm on the verge of saying it. Don't fuck. Oh, my God. Will, we can't. You say, I'm, I'm, we don't want to get sued, I'm, Will. I'm going to take a knife. We're, I'm not telling you what I'm doing tonight. Hour and 30. Huh? Hour and 30. Yeah. It's pretty It's pretty good. Uh, we're. G- I, I mean, listen, we can go another half. Uh, we're just riffing, baby. Just honestly, riffing. like, what time is it? This one, it, like, oh, five nine. what do you got? What do you got right now? Uh, I was just gonna go for a run. <laughs> I'm not gonna wait. I need 30 minutes. Jesus Christ. It's like, our our it's shoes like, are always he, an hour. You know, if, if you're like, <clears throat> if you were like, oh, you know what? I gotta pick up my nephew. Uh, I, you know, I told this and this and this. I gotta do something with my nephew. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I gotta go for a run. Get the fuck out of here. You can go run whenever you want. I you wanna go for a run? I'll drop you off in Marcus' neighborhood. And you go for uh, that's where I run. And then I'll yell the N word and said he said it. <laughs> <laughs> you can go for a run after that. <laughs> that, 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 that is. That Marcus is the only ch- Asian person that lives in that. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. Oh, also, oh, mostly just want a cigarette. It's, can you like? You have no control, do you? What? No control. Can we smoke inside? No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this guy is no control. Oh, he has no control. You know this already. Mm. You don't. You don't have control. Of what? When you get to a certain point, you have a breaking point. You know that game that has like the, the, the cubes and you got to like tap it? Mm-hmm. You know, and you, the penguins on it. And you gotta tap it. Icebreaker? Yeah, icebreaker. And it like breaks like one drop, one drop, one drop. And the winner of the game, the the winner of the game, the the loser of the game, when he taps it, the whole floor breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always the fucking loser. What? You're always the loser. <laughs> what? Because there's one thing that's like with you is like this. Oh, I got. I want to do. Oh, uh, uh, oh, it's one thirty. Uh, oh, I gotta go do that. We've like, never gone over an hour thirty. Two hours. This is we the had two one, hours. We had a guess. This is the one year anniversary, and you mean to tell me we're gonna keep it one thirty? That was it's my gonna, question. Then you went on a whole. Rant. This one is the big cut. The biggest because cut. Because of you. Because it was hilarious. No, because you hilarious. kept spilling. It was pretty fun. The high profile person <laughs> that we. M- <laughs> that we're talking about. That was funny. That was funny. Okay, you're going to cut like 30 seconds? I was like, yeah. <laughs> but I got to go in there. It needs to make sense to cut. Just don't go eating people's dogs and cats. That's yeah. Right. Will is Haitian. <laughs> 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 Yo, I love that night. When he said it, oh, everybody, I was even sitting there, I'm like this, what? Like, what are you, talking, like, about? What are you talking about, Donnie? It's like, all of a sudden, and then like, oh, Mr. Trump, where did you get this low? He was like, yeah, he's coming from there. Uh, he, I heard it from the, the, the people. I was, like, I was like, oh, no. But then, all of a sudden, the news articles are coming out with the Haitians are eating cats. But you know what's funny? Oh, it's they like, probably spun that. They probably just, yeah. they probably it's just created the article. Just like, yeah. Oh but but you know what he reminds me of? is like, he reminds me, like, I don't have, my pops wasn't like this. But I could imagine people's fathers where it's like, say you're at home, you're just chilling, you know, with your girl, with your family, whatever. Or you're just doing nothing. And you get this weird phone call for your dad. And it's also pretty cool. Hey, how you doing, son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just shooting the shit. He goes, you hear about them eating these cats and dogs? <laughs> like, dad, what are you talking about? 
The dude was casting the dog. That, 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 was, Trump. that, that was, was a struggle Trump that Trump night. Did. Yes. Trump did that. He did that. The, the dad I, thing. I, I, I saw a little did, article I and he swear blew it up. You, I told Vanessa the same thing. Thing. Uh, I didn't say dad, I said uncle. Uh, yeah, you know, that crazy uncle like that's crazy like, uncle. Then you heard they're eating the dogs and cats in the corner, like, all right, right uncle. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Sure. Right now? <laughs> it's stuff. Yeah, yeah, but that's what it was. Oh, here's the thing, all right? Watching the RNC to the DNC, mm-hmm. right? So different. So different. Not the convention itself, but the media outlet. Watching that on live TV and seeing how. MSNBC and CBS and all those mm. people do it. It's, it doesn't make sense. Because they're not calling it for what it is. It's very biased. Because mm-hmm. they were like picking up for Kamala the whole time and like making fun of Trump throughout it. I'm like, okay, as a news media article, right? Mm. News media, <clears throat> you should just call it down the middle. They can't. <clears throat> they just can't. But it should be called down the middle. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, it's like, at the end of the DNC, uh, no, at the end of the Trump and Kamala, uh, when they had the debate, mm-hmm. Kamala made uh, two, two statements that were incorrect. Trump made 13. Yeah. I'm just saying. The next day, it was shown that him and her made exactly about mm-hmm. the same amount of false accusation of facts. You know what's funny? They, they, like, I remember this. It was a quote that I remember I, I remember writing back in high school, and it meant nothing to me. But then as I got older, and now it means something, I used to say this one quote was that politicians are praised liars. They get recognized for stealing the blind man's ticket. We all know that they fucking lie. We know they're lying to mm-hmm. us. And we know they're doing it to get the votes. The problem I'm having with this today's politics is that with the whole Trump thing is that they're almost making it seem like if you're opposite Trump, you're a fucking angel. How? This lady was literally in the White House for four <laughs> years with this other idiot. And you're trying to me like I'm supposed to be afraid of Trump when you're the one who's in power <clears throat> and fuck shit up? Like, how how you sell that to me? Uh, like, how I, you going to sell I, it to me that we're going to have a bad time with Trump but he did none of those things you guys are talking about that he's going to do supposedly now and you guys were in it for four years and, and the economy is worse. Like, how are you yeah. how are you gonna pitch that? What what they okay. use that? Oh, he lies a lot. Yeah, she lies but, too. But, but yeah. I don't get though is because she's in office already. Yeah, she's the vice president. All these things that you're saying you're gonna do to the country, why can't you do it now? Now, exactly. Why yeah. can't we start doing this now and start with the president? You know, you're the vice president. Go talk to the president. Create a game plan, and then do this. Mm. Or are you saying now? That these are the things you want to do. That honestly, <clears throat> looking at it, some of it is great. Some of it is really mm-hmm. helpful. But are you saying now Biden doesn't want to do this? I just think it's a level of decorum that they always done, and they just can't get away from that playbook. No, like you already know this is how every time you run for the president, you got to say I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this change. From the da 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 da. But even though the, we know the game has shifted now, because now the person who's running is the vice president, and you still got to use that same thing, say the same lines, that I'm going to make things better. So, like you said, why aren't you doing it now? Yeah. And, the thing, and, and the only thing they can hang their hat on is the identity politics. We get mm-hmm. black folk who's like, oh, she says she's black and she's Indian, I'm voting for her. Trump is a racist, da 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 like, you can find an article right now, you can look it up. Trump, at one point, made a big deal of the fact that a lot of hotels down in the south, I think it was near, like, mar a was, um, was not opening up spaces for, you know, for Jews and, and blacks to go actually stay in these hotels. They were barring these people from coming to that area. A racist wouldn't do that. A racist wouldn't have opportunities on for black folk, give any funding for HBCUs, anything, uh, what's the thing, um, the First Step Act, which basically freed a lot of black people from under the same, those, you know, like, for, like, the things that Kamala Harris locked people up for, like, weed, and you know, those minor, inf- no, the, the crime bill that freaking Biden basically wrote in the, you no, know, or who, he, he wrote the crime bill. That stuff like that put a lot of black folk in prison. Trump reversed a lot of those guys' sentences and got them out. Black guy, a guy who hated black folk wouldn't do that. Yeah. That, would, that wouldn't make sense. But the average <clears throat> voter who's more like a Democrat will never know those things about Trump because they only go to one place. It's like, it's like you know, the echo chamber. They smell their own farts. 
It's just, you fart, he farts, I fart, everyone farts, but we're all in the same room. It just sticks in here. No. <laughs> That's what they're doing. But it's it's also the algorithm of everything, too. Yeah. Because but it's you like, have to if, search. If you, have you to look get at nothing but pure, mm-hmm. like, democratic um, social media stuff, you know, for Biden and Kamala, you're only seeing those people. So you associate yourself with those people and mm-hmm. you start becoming those people and you don't realize you're becoming those people. Yeah. But because now all of a sudden you're becoming these people, the other people look weird to you. Yeah. Mm. But they, but, they, but, but to be fair, they both do these weird conspiracy things. Like they, they both do. They do. Like it was a guy that I work with. He's um he's on a he's a left wing or whatever. I'm more of a centrist guy, but he's gay. He's cool. I love him. He's a great guy. But he always says like these weird things while he's going for comments. He's like, oh, because they're gonna take away my rights. Like, motherfucker, they gave you a show. It's called Drag Queens. <laughs> like, they're not taking away anything from you. Are you serious? The mo- like, like, a most watched reality TV show. I, you, I, it's like when, when, when James Brown and all these guys had a, these black performers back in the most segregated parts of the South, when they had to go perform, they only go perform in places where they could go. Mm-hmm. Not even, you know what I'm saying? They were segregated. They, were kept, they kept motherfuckers out. Like, James Brown couldn't go to certain places. You could go everywhere. No one's stopping you. And he, he was a star. He was a star. And this guy was a star, exactly. Yeah. And he had to be like, oh, you can't play here, James. Sorry. Dude. You can't. Michael Jackson, oh, you can't play here, Mike. You can't play here, Mike. Gladys Knight in the pips. They're like, we can't play here. <laughs> I'm glad it's not in the pips. It's like, no, man. No, sorry, sorry Gladys. Sorry. Uh, Nat t- King Cole had to go around the block. <laughs> Can you tell the pimps not to walk through the front door just to let them stay out there? That's sad. Like, just- but you live in a world where you could go anywhere and be anywhere you want. <clears throat> You go do anything you want, and you and you guys take like one little aggression where somebody says, you know, the, the six letter word, and you're like, oh, the world hates me. No, that guy hates you. I had to really count it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No yes. one, you know, it rhymes with maggot for people who don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make a drink. Where's the jigger? <laughs> okay, here's our top five. Top five, right? The most unsafe U.S. cities to date. To Chicago. Day. This is coming from get, get Safe and Sound. Chicago number one. Security. Chicago number two. Chicago number three. Chicago is number one? Yay. Really? No, uh, no, number one. Um, what are you thinking? Uh, Baltimore. Baltimore. Okay. I, I, my top, can I tell you what my top would be? I'll give you right now. You know what? I'll go top ten. I'll go top ten. I'll give you my tops right now. Chicago. I ain't, it's no particular order. I'm just saying. Chicago, uh-huh. New Orleans or Louis, Louisville, Memphis. Um, New York is probably somewhere there, but in the lowers. In the top five? Top ten? Yeah, I would say in the, it's okay. in the part of the top ten. Um, Minneapolis or you know, one of those cities there, but definitely uh-huh. Minneapolis, I'm thinking. Okay. Um, but those are the ones I could think of so far. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, what are you thinking? Well, I say Chicago, really? Oh yeah. <laughs> he's not probably. Yeah, I I don't think he's meaning the like the proper. city city part. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 like right. parts of Chicago. Okay, yeah, eight I'll, mile, the eight mile yeah. part of. Oh, that's Detroit. But Detroit's <laughs> Detroit. up there. Detroit's up there. Guarantee that. Detroit for sure. Okay, um, I'll I'll join the bandwagon and say Chicago number one, mm-hmm. just because how how. Well, don't, don't you number are. it. You don't have to number it. Just okay. So, well, you're, right. you're, Top, top, top five, ten. and I'll give the top ten. But tell mm. me what, what you think. Top, top five. five, okay. Um, I, yeah, I like Minneapolis. I'm gonna put Minneapolis up there. Mm-hmm. New Orleans. I actually, <clears throat> I think New Orleans is number one. Actually, okay. Um, Memphis is up there. Trust me, and I think Louisville. Memphis, is up there. trust me. Uh, Louisville? No. Nah, uh, maybe yeah. top ten. Uh, uh, did I say Memphis already? Mm-hmm. And then Baltimore. I have one more. Um, dangerous. Dangerous city? Mm-hmm. Would it be racist if I said Oakland? No. no. <laughs> Oakland. Oh, what, what's in Oakland? I don't know. Gangs. I just think about the Raiders. The Raiders. But the Cholos. I thought that's what you're talking about. <laughs> the Raiders. I think that's how you go to your front oh, door. The they Raiders. Kick your door in. The Raiders, homie. You better be a Raiders <laughs> fan. I am, I am. <laughs> oh, you cool, homie. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. This is the top five, and I'll give the ten, right? But this is from the Get Safe and Sound security system. I don't fucking know. Um, I'll do the top, and then we can break that down if you want, right? Number one, 
Memphis. See? Told you it was up there. Number one is Memphis top unsafe U.S. Wow. city. Today, 2024. Today. Number two, St. Louis. Mm-hmm. Number three, Little Rock, Arkansas. Little Rock? Wow. Number four, Minneapolis. And number five, Detroit. Oh, I forgot. And now we're going into the top ten. Number six, Patty Mahomes to play here. The Kansas City. Wow. Missouri? Number seven, uh, this is Kansas City in Missouri, yes. Uh, number seven, New Orleans. See? Number eight, Cleveland. Cleveland. Mm. Number nine, Birmingham, Alabama. And number 10, Houston, Houston? Texas. Mm-hmm. What? That's your top 10 and, most. And you know dangerous. what they all have in common? Black folk! <laughs> <laughs> so if you, if you really want to break it down, if, if you want to break <laughs> it down, the way how they break it down, they break it down by the crime rate and the yeah. population and the most common crime, right? So the most common crime for all of these are murder, DIs. aggregated assault. Oh. You know? So now <clears throat> the number of crime that it goes to is the per the population. So it's crime per 100,000 people. So Memphis has 97.6 crime per 100,000. St. Louis, 87.10. Thousand, little. Uh, I'm sorry, a thousand people. Little Rock, seventy-two point eight, a thousand. Minneapolis, sixty-six point two per thousand. Detroit, sixty-six per ten thousand. Kansas City, sixty-three per one thousand. New Orleans, sixty per one thousand. Cleveland, fifty-nine per one thousand. Birmingham, fifty-nine per one thousand. Mm-hmm. And Houston, fifty-seven per. 100,000 because 100, the population 000. goes up. Now, the the rest of it is number 11, Milwaukee, 12, Orlando, 13, Baltimore, 14, Atlanta, mm. 15, Stockton, California, 16, New York, and this is New York. Just New York. I, mean, I'm just, I guess they're counting the whole state itself. <laughs> Yeah, I doubt they're doing that up. Which is 38.2 per 100,000. You don't know what goes up in those bushes. (laughs) (laughs) bushes. Yeah, but I doubt it's like the same level as, say, New York City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And New York City is probably out doing fucking New York State. 17, Phoenix. 18, Los Angeles. 19, Las Vegas. 20, Miami. I was thinking Miami, but I didn't think it was going to be top. That's it. Material. Miami That's sucks. The top. Mm-hmm. Miami is a brutal place to be. It's all right. It's fab. It's so fake there. there no, no one. It's almost like L.A. on the East Coast, South, South. The, East Coast. the only good thing about Miami that you could probably go there and people will be cool with you are the tourists. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The yeah, people yeah. that live there are just. Yeah. They have their own little circle. Like Brickle is weird, weird. I can't believe Orlando's up there. It's like, what, what goes on in Orlando? Have you seen all? Um, it's crazy. You lived in Orlando. Yeah, it, Orlando? it was crazy. Have you seen the Florida Project? It was crazy. I like that movie a lot. I think it's talking about like shit like that, like the people who live around Disneyland. I don't, I don't, I don't even think it. It really no. But they have a lot of break-ins. Like, at least so I remember from Orlando City and Orlando, they had a lot of break-ins, but it was always perpetrated by these fucking meth heads. Yeah. There's a lot of those guys there. So it's probably a lot of drug use. Yeah, because yeah. it's, 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 like, it's weird how, at least with the part we was at in Orlando, it was, they have, like, little... Like, so, for example, if you're, on, um, if you're on University Boulevard, so that's, like, a big commerce area, and then when you get off to the side mm-hmm. streets is where you find a lot of the residentials. If you go deep behind those residentials, you get these little pockets, like these Stefford Wives homes. Like, everything yeah, looks like yeah, yeah. like these weird little, like, they're all cookie cutter, you mm-hmm. know? Those are the places that keep getting hit yeah. by these guys, these meth They hang around areas like that because oh. a lot of money, so they know valuable because, things. Because it's crazy. You know? I, I went to Little Rock to get my passport, mm. and I was in the heart of Little Rock. I did When I did land there, I see a car chasing another car. Like, they were chasing each other to like, fucking fight. But it was Little Rock, and I, I was I, I booked the hotel room, and I had nothing to do. There was a bar downstairs. I mm. went down to the bar, I had like two beers, and I had some wings. There was nobody in the bar. 
Yeah. It was just me alone in this bar. Had my wings, had my two beers. I went to go smoke a cigarette. Uh, went outside, and then I just walked around. Nothing was happening. I'm like, when I saw Little Rock, then I was like, okay, it's probably the side streets or whatever. But yeah. I don't really, mm. I, 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 I don't know, you know? And then, like, where was one of those other ones? Like, Baltimore. I know Baltimore. But you, you're, when you said Baltimore, like, when I heard Baltimore, mm. I thought Baltimore would have been up there. Yeah. If there are areas streets, of Baltimore right? you just don't go. And, and you know how you know? You know. You'll know when you're in that neighborhood. Because the neighborhood is like row homes mm -hmm. and literally like seven homes per a row, five of them are boarded up. Boarded and two up. Two of them are lived in. Yeah. You know not to go there. And it's also it's also a main street has that too. Like yeah. even like the, the main road where it kinda goes down towards the the downtown mm -hmm. and the city hall. It's a it was, I'm sure once a beautiful hill boulevard, but now yeah, the homes are boarded up. You yeah, just know not just, to get out of your fucking car. It's like you're going to the Baltimore Zoo, Baltimore Aquarium, to take that drive in there. If you're not taking the highway, you're taking the local. And it's like you're, you're driving with your family, you're driving through there, you're like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. Like this And the is football stadium is like right. blocks away. Yeah, Ravens right, right, and right. Orioles are right across the street from each other. It's like, it's like going to Yankee Stadium. That you, part of the you, Bronx is you, crazy. You go there... You do not go in three blocks radius wherever the stadium is. Within that three blocks radius are the restaurants, the stadium, and your car. After that, get in, go. I I were in I was in the Bronx. We were filming and we were in the Bronx like four blocks away from the Yankee Stadium. I was good. I was golden when I was there. I did have one day there was a bag of dog shit on top of my tire. And I'm like, oh, they're marking me. What does that mean? What does that mean? Like, they're, they're, like they're marking me because, like, my car would show up every day. Mm. This was 2019. I had a brand new Acura. When I got my Acura, it was the first RDX, the new type, that came out. So for a good week or two, you didn't see this car around. Mm -hmm. And my car had, like, red leather seats, and it would just pull up to the Bronx. In this area, you know shit's going down. And I would find parking, and for three days straight, I would see dog shit on top of my tire. In a bag. On top of the tire. I'm like, I'm being marked. And there's this old guy walking. And I looked at the old guy. I was like, yo, who's doing this shit? And then he's like, I don't know. And this young kid's walking by. I was like, and he was looking at me. I was like, yo, who did this? And he's like, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I was like, I was like, I was like, yo, this is bullshit. I just moved here. I'm living here. And he's like, oh, you living here? I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, okay, okay, whatever. And like, he just kept moving. After that, nothing ever happened to my tire. Wow. Like, oh, he lives here. And then once they kept yeah. seeing me going to the car, they're like, oh. Yeah, they're fucking he with cool. you. Yeah. Definitely you know? fucking with they you. were just trying to see what, they were just <clears throat> testing, like, what's going on? What's going It's like, but when you go to these neighborhoods, it's like, it's a tight community. Yeah. It's a very t living in Brownsville. Oh, forget that's Afghanistan. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> like in Afghanistan. I lived in Brownsville. That's just. Uh, remember I used yeah. to live right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I would go up my apartment. People would be smoking crack. On the stairwell, like I don't like, and you know how I know I've smoked weed. I've never smoked crack. Oh yeah, it's like and sweet, I right? Like, I was like. Mm. Is it kind of like a sweet smell weird. to it? It's no, it's no. very it's a weird pungent. Smell. Stuff. Yeah, it's just like weird. It smells like it? chemicals are burning. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. But because people knew me, and then Vanessa, we had our first kid. Like, there'll be some really hood dudes in the building, and they would see Vanessa come with the 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 stroller. Miss will help you. Don't worry about it. They'll help. The community helped each other out. If they know you live there and they know you live within the community, they know we're all struggling together. We'll help each other out. But don't get out of line, though. Don't take yeah. that for granted. Yeah. You know, you, you just you walk the block. You walk respectfully. Mm. Stay to yourself. No chest out. 
people look at you, give it a little nod, whatever, keep it moving. Yeah. That's it. Always keep it moving. But everyone there was so respectful. I have nothing good to say about that area because I lived there. Yeah. If I didn't live there, it would have been a different problem. Yeah. Definitely. So, it's like that's when people are like, oh, yeah, it's so dangerous over there. No, it's only dangerous if you don't live there. People don't know you. Know you. That's to make you a target. Yeah. Like, I used to take my, you remember I had the pit bull. Mm-hmm. I used to take the dog and walk down the block. Walk like four block radius and no one ever said anything to me. Everything was great. Pepper. And then, uh, I'm not, uh, see, I'm not, he's not drinking. In fact, I was carrying. Can you pick it up? He's just sitting there. Picking he's it like, up. You know what he is? He's one of those kids that spill a glass of milk. And then the spill's there and they just sit there like this. Oh, it spilled. <laughs> I'm assessing the situation it also. Probably fell down. Don't lose the magnet. I'm please. looking Those for are it. expensive. There it is. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we good? Oh, oh, God. Can we smoke now? Cigarette, please. <laughs> That's a no. You could tell he's the only boy in the family. <laughs> you were spoiled. What? No, it's not. He was like, can you my pancakes now? I know. Uh, okay, here's your pancakes. Oh, bro. my God. Can you my pancakes? I just want a cigarette. I Come want on. a toy, Mom. Mom, you bitch. Give me my toy. <laughs> I don't think I ever spoke when I was a kid. I was terrified of my parents. Did they beat you? No, they locked me out of the house a few times. Really? They locked you out? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I did that before. I, I opted to lock myself out the house before. <laughs> I, I did a couple of runaways. So I just walked out the door and went around the corner. Like, went like, next to the door and stood there. <laughs> I knew I didn't know where to go. Did you, like, you got, you got whoopings though, right? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Who gave That's, the whoopings? Both parents. That was always bad. Yeah. But yeah. then when you get older, my mom stopped because she couldn't hurt nobody. My pops did it, but... We get old enough, they don't happen anymore. But I, I remember kids, my, so. my last beating, my grandmother was like trying to like, beat me, and I stood there laughing, and because I was, I was like, "You're not, you're not hurting me, grandma." And then she stood there and she started laughing, and I remember that day we both stood there laughing. I was supposed to be punished, but we were just <laughs> laughing about it, and it was like, it was like. It was like a great memory, you know. Mm-hmm. That was my last beating I took. It's like a, that, yeah. That, fine. how old were you? I was twelve, thirteen. Oh yeah, it's, it's like, like thirteen. What, I was like, what's the? Point? I was like, I was getting uh, become a teenager, you know. I was like working out. I was getting bigger. It's like, oh. But all right. Well, I think this is it. Happy anniversary. I want to smoke my cigarette.